to say. <laughs> uh, probably the same thing you were going to say, only better. Then do it right now. Because we're fucking live. No, I don't want to do it now. I don't want to do it now. See, she just got herself an out. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Facebook Live. How are we fucking doing? Um, welcome to Holler. Oh. We're about to go live on this podcast. Holler is alive. You're watching us now. We're live now. Are we? Uh, we are. On the internet with you. If you're watching, give us a share. Like our Facebook page. If we're just showing up on your feed, it's a good time. It's a good time. We post a lot of shitty memes. Yeah. They do. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, who has your Twitter? Uh, who has our Twitter? What do you mean, our Twitter? Oh, this one. Oh my gosh, I'm coming in with some audio. Jeez. <sighs> Get over it. It's been a long week, okay? It's wow. been a long. Man, 2019 was a long few years, wasn't it? God bless it. <laughs> God bless it. I can probably, like, Take the entire show. That's Brian's head in front of you. Is that my head? Like, in there? You're all up in the business. (laughs) Sorry, dude. Brian's head is all like, he's coded. He's right now, he's jacking in to the Matrix. Fuck. That was a very solid uh, reference right there. This show's going to be all about movies. I hope you're all fucking ready. Strap in. I can't strap you on because we're not friends on Facebook. Sorry. Thank you. Give me friends. Tell your friends to get with my friends, and we can be friends. I got two claws, one for my left and one for my right. I'm mixing them together. Oh. And I'm creating I cherry limeade out of them. If it's okay. <laughs> what? What was Wait, your question? I want to know if it's good. You want to taste it? No, you taste it first. Oh, well, I've done it before. That's Lime is why just I know like it's good. watered down Sprite. White claws? Mm-hmm. Tastes like watered down Sprite? Mm-hmm. Hey, Dad, I'm happy you're here. Oh, yeah, people are starting to roll in. All right. Let's do it, dog. Yeah, he's the only dad that's on this show. He's a, he, well, he was a snappy pappy, but what are we going to call him now? No. <laughs> snappy I never, pappy. I never heard that. That's so cute. Well, I said hello. Uh, I need to, I need so to just keep it. I need to just keep it. Because that sounds great. The snappy The holla father. The holla father. The You come to me. On the night of my daughter's podcast. Only movie references. It's only movie movie references from now on, motherfuckers. Walk down the the internet with us. It's it's time for Holly, y'all. We're gonna kick it. But the elf, what's your favorite color? Yeah, Yeah, editing. Good job. All right, y'all. Are we ready to start the show? Because I think we're ready. I think we're ready to start the show. Let's freaking kick it. Ready? Three, two. Holler is intended for mature audiences only, so your mom is definitely invited. Sometimes controversial, always engaging. It's the podcast that lets your voice be heard. It's the podcast that shouts you out. It's time to holler. Can you dig it? I get you looking at corn one day through a pop chart. Touch your shoes. You like the jizz part? Yeah, I'm like the way to pull up the arm and just swallow it down. Oh yeah! Welcome to <laughs> welcome to uh, World War Three, everybody. Shit. Oh. Um, I'm just kidding. It's called Holler. It's the podcast that shouts you out on the internet. My name is JD. To my right is my good friend Brian. What's up, Brian? How you doing? What's up, JD? What's up, internet? Um, guys, I would like to ask you a favor. If you're on Twitter, please go find me and follow all of my favorite. Twitterature at the underscore Brian underscore show. Um, join by us always. It's great. Who the fuck knows what Gracie's doing over there ever? <laughs> she acts like this is the first time she's ever spoken into a microphone. Broken and I can't yeah, that's fix not how it works, Gracie. That's okay. I can't fix it. I'll just fix it. So talk. I asked her if she wanted to. Hey guys, I'm here for the love of fucking Pete. Um, I'm here for the love of fucking Pete. Yeah. Well, good enough. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Keep, keep, keep telling okay, us so about you on the internet, please. So here Gracie. I am. I'm on the keep internet. Doing everything I'm I can. I'm recording a podcast. Because I'm Hi, Superman. Hi, my name is JD, and I like warm hugs. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Do you like Guys, that? joined. Okay, thank you, Gracie, <laughs> for that wonderful fucking... introduction. Um, <laughs> I was gonna clean Gracie's intro up, and I just didn't talk to her about it, not expecting this at all. Uh, right. Wow, wow. Uh, guys, this week we have the guys from Real Dumb Debates. Um, we've got Matt, we've got Corey. You guys, say what's up. If you have any social media, feel free to go ahead and shout that out. But uh, Corey, what's up, dude? Talking to the mic. Sorry about all the mic sounds that was happening. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah, everything's on. <laughs> everything's oh, on. I'm speaking to yeah, yeah, it's hot. Great. But yeah, Jeez. guys. So guys, we're gonna talk about your whole your whole situation that you have going on with real dumb movie debates. Those people out there, they may not realize Huntington, West Virginia has a really cool film debate club. I'm a part of it. I'm very excited to talk about this. Very excited to talk about film and movies, and we're gonna get into all that. Yeah, it's gonna be wonderful. We're gonna ha- we have a couple bits that we're gonna kind of do that with with the real dumb dudes. Uh, I'm gonna call you guys that like colloquially. I hope that's all right. I mean, it fits. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think it works. Probably. We got Matt. We got Corey. We real got, dumb Corey. Just we got we got a, we, we got uh, a wonderful program ready for you guys. Um, uh, we also let's see what else do we have oh, going go. on. Here? <laughs> Sorry, Gracie threw us off. At first. Yeah. Oh, Thank don't you go fucking blame me. You gave me the broken one. We are recorded live uh, in. Uh, wild and wonderful Huntington, West Virginia. Uh, it's the birthplace of podcasts. Uh, it's America's best community, and uh, it is, uh, you know, freaking wild out there, y'all. You know, um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time, but before we do anything, we're gonna do a toast, right? Yeah, let's do it. And yes. Brian, I think you got one ready for us, dude. So everybody, yeah. grab your cocktail choices, please. So, internet world out there, uh, we have a live audience behind us. We got a good little audience behind us. Yeah, thanks for this. hanging out, y'all. Um, Appreciate yeah. it. So, it is your official holler toast. Here we go, guys. Haikus are scary. They are so insanely hard. That is what she said. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Zugma, the band Zugma, they gave us this wonderful theme song, uh, Jerry Diesel from uh, the record Recreational Vehicles. Thank you so much for being on the program, Zugma. Uh, it's time to talk about movies, y'all, because fuck yes <laughs> to movies, right? Shit. I don't really feel like that anymore. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They're on break. Let them be. Yeah, so uh, real dumb debates. You guys do more than just movies. You, you talk about a lot of other subjects as well. Um, yeah, we'll scream at each other about anything, really. Pretty much it's any, hilarious. anything you can... It's you, a great time. Yeah, that's freaking <laughs> awesome. Uh, we would love to do the show if you guys will have us on it. We, of course, maybe the season premiere. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that's oh. big talk. That's big talk, dog. Listen, I need to know when that's going to be because my fiancé keeps asking me every Saturday... Are they, those movie guys going to go on again? I'm like, listen, I don't know. Those movie guys. That's what he said. That's a different podcast. It turns out when you start screaming each other over things like movies and video games and pro wrestling and sports and TV shows, which are all the things that these guys debate about, it turns out if you do that and you broadcast on the internet, you attract a very strange audience of people just out of the shadows that are like, I would like to go on there and start yelling at people about things. Um, Hell yeah. I'm waiting for a Disney episode because I'm going to be throw gone. shit and do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you could throw up. You could so, whatever. So, uh, can you give us a little rundown of how your show kind of works? It's a debate program, so you guys actually have a judge and all this stuff. Can you kind of run through yeah, how you do um, a show? Pretty much, I'll book a show a few weeks in advance, and uh, 
then I end up replacing half those people. <laughs> <laughs> shocking. You're telling me people flake out. That's shocking. I end up being half those people. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling around and have nothing else to do. So. Right. Um, but so we, uh, we make a little group chat on Messenger for it, and the judge will send out like eight to ten questions, and the potential contestants mm -hmm. uh, pick the question they feel most confident in, so everybody kind of has... The upper hand on yeah. one question. Oh, okay, all right. And then the judge picks the fourth question, and okay. then we do a blind round every time. So oh wow, you cool. never know what you're going to get. Something where you have to kind of just come up with some shit. Yeah, you got to think on your feet. That's what's up. And then all oh, oh, points are tallied <laughs> like a, like a sport. I mean, you've you've created a sport out of <laughs> out of this shit for real because points are tallied, right? Like you have multiple points going on, right? It's different rounds. Yeah, and then the the top. To yep. move on to the final round where okay. they uh, go head to head. They go head to head and prove the best shit talking about movies no, they, they possibly do. They go into uh, what's called a speed round at that point. And the speed round gets very, very interesting because then the contestants have no idea what questions are coming at them. And they have to answer instantly. And so the way the speed round works, the judge will throw the question out to these guys, the two that are left. Mm -hmm. um, the first person to answer gets to go last, so the advantage is to them. So if you just answer quickly, you know, who's it's the like best... ping pong you know, rules. So, you know, here, here's one, uh, J.D. Okay. Who, who's, the best, who's the best actor to play Joker of all time? And you're going against two people, so someone would have pronounced, ah. uh, you know, then someone would go, Yeah, and then someone would go Heath Ledger, and then it's like, so, Right, so, yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, the, the question's very, um, and, and like Gracie said, you got people tuning in from the outside going, I can so, do that. Everybody it, thinks they can do yeah. that, by the way. It's uh, amazing. So the reason that Brian knows so much about this is that you've been a contestant on this show. I was. I came in, I believe, contestant. I believe I came in <laughs> episode you, you, seven. Right. Ish. Yeah, I came in after that. Somewhere after six, eight. And then you, which seems like forever ago, but turns out they had done like yeah, five or six episodes before me. But yeah, I've been. Then you became ago. more than a contestant. You won. You I won did. The first I season. did become season one you were champion. The champion. <laughs> I, I was a major comeback from the shadows. I was the underdog, and uh, how yeah. do you guys feel about that? <laughs> Let's I, get into I, a real dumb debate about this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you for that. I felt like the underdog. Like. Him and Kyle are like two of the best, so it was it was obviously going to be one of the three of us. Right, right. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, goes, no, no, it's but, fine. I was I was the worst at this. I, I'm pretty sure I, I only I won one this past well, year. But. You won right. one. Which you, one? Was, you got one. Yeah, which one did you win? What was I your, know, the one I yelled the most? Oh, yelled the most. Oh, well, well, what was like one of the best? Uh, I think we started early, so he wasn't too drunk yet. <laughs> ah, see, mm. that that does have a lot to do with. <laughs> does. Uh, well, it works great if we can get started about noon. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, my day's off. That's a, <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, so you guys are gonna have a second season coming up. Um, you know, this is a great concept, and I love the how you've gamified it. We're also gonna try and like expand a little bit, maybe come up with like a little trivia show, right? Um, and then. Movie reviews, obviously, we That's all good. Yeah, watch yeah. movies, so why Yeah, not? that could definitely expand, for sure, like, you know, you've Dude. got the channel, it's on YouTube, mm -hmm. how can we watch it on YouTube, what's the, it's, uh, it's real dumb, spelled like a movie reel. Okay, R-E-E-L-D-U-M-B? Yep. And it's all one word? It's, uh, it's space. Okay, uh, but yeah, just look it up. Uh, real dumb, but you know, movie reviews. Yeah, find them on Facebook, find them on YouTube. Now, Matt, here's a question for you. What if somebody's listening to the podcast, like for real, and they really do want to join this? Because if I were listening, this would have caught my attention. Um, how, <laughs> yeah, you how can they like applicants? Can they, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. Do we have to, like, fight club style stand these men on a porch for like fucking 48 hours <laughs> and with style. brooms? Not You're too fucking style. blonde. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 ask you that when you said us simple rules is the first sort of rule. <laughs> but no, seriously, if somebody wants to join, they, they listen to this podcast, how do they, how, how can they reach out to you and can they join is a better question. Yeah, I mean, we're open to all. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So, it's if it's your first night, you have to fight. Are we allowed to bring weapons? <laughs> Only, uh, 
I mean, <laughs> we yell at each other a lot, like, like a just verbal oh, weapons. Oh, well, see, my brother has a lot of LARPing stuff, so I'm on it. Oh, well, well like a phone. Yeah. We just, <laughs> we, we I will beat the hell out of you, you for it with that phone shit. Beat the hell out of you. Well, uh, it's wonderful for you guys to be here. Thank you so much for coming. Um, we're going to talk about movies, for sure. Like, right now, I think it's deep enough into the season kind of want to talk about Star Wars for a second. Hope that's okay with you guys. Are you about to spoil it? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think everybody in the room has seen it yet. But it is. We try to avoid spoilers. All I've thing. seen is Baby Yoda. Right, right. Mm-hmm. That's a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and see, technically, that's a spoiler, too, because not everybody's seen that. No, they don't know what Baby Yoda. You know what I'm saying? No, everybody. If they don't know, you're if they, yeah, we ever, out. yeah. Didn't that ruin that shit? Wasn't that fucking like messed up? That like that was a big twist on that first episode, and then like, oh, guess what? I mean, it's like the first time in history they've even held back like the merchandise. Right. No like, shit. That was insane. Like everybody wanted Baby Yoda stuff for Christmas, but they kept it so under wraps that it comes out in like February. That's fucking crazy. People were like hand knitting uh, Yoda dolls and yeah. shit, like baby Yoda dolls, and it's like nuts. selling them online. It's fucking crazy. Uh, Go to well, Etsy. <laughs> Etsy.com slash real dumb Yoda baby. Real <laughs> 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 dumb Yoda baby. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, join our Etsy shop for real dumb Yoda babies. Well, um, that's why I do, this, this is where I work. That's why I didn't want you to mention it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you just mentioned it. I'm just kidding. Um, Real Doug Yoda babies. <laughs> Dot com. Um, so, Aww. so well, n- none of that baby Yoda talk. Rise of Skywalker is the conclusion of a like huge movie, like arc, nine movies. This is the ninth one. The one it's out the end. with a resounding. Meh. Yeah. App- apparently, if you look at like social media and people's cinema scores and shit like that, but I, I mean, what do you guys think of it? I haven't seen it. You guys? Shit. Okay, so he hasn't seen it. And in my opinion, all right. It is better than The Last Jedi, um, but right. it feels like... I'm Not as good as Force Awakens? No. no. Okay. That's the best. That's my, the best of the three. In my humble but correct opinion, <laughs> that is <laughs> the best one since uh, Empire. Oh, cool. Okay. But um, it, it like rekindled my hope in Star Wars. Right. After the prequels and... Like, yeah. Yeah, well, that was kind of, I think that was what their whole point was, was like, we got to start with a bang. We know, we you know, we they just sold it for a billion bucks, you know? Like, yeah, we just invested four billion in this bitch. Like, we got to do something about it. Um, but, and they made it all back. <laughs> so. Like, the, the problem with it is you had J.J. Abrams, who had a clear vision of where the story he started should go. Mm-hmm. You had Ryan Johnson, who had a clear vision of what the story he took over should, should have gone toward like he created a way to be like well I see what you're trying to do and I want to kind of you know fucking twist it so flip it you know it should have been uh, one of the two should have done all three right right well the original trilogy wasn't done by three different it was done by three different directors well George well, Lucas did the yes. first he produced the other ones but written by George but he Lewis. was, yeah, he did write. Yeah, that's true. That's well, true. But with other people. There were other writers, too, with him, and they were actually and credited equally with Ron him. Ron so. Johnson could have benefited from that. Maybe. Yeah, and yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're right. J.J. could have benefited from getting someone who didn't write fucking Batman vs. Superman. Movies, bitch! George Whoa! Lucas is kind of a shitty director. He directed, like, one... He did when one... When he actually did the... I mean, Phantom Menace is my favorite one. Yeah, of the three, no, or of all of them. Really? That's a joke. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm, joke. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not used to the mic thing. I'm sitting back in this like kind of rock, makeshift rocking. We give Corey one rule: just keep yeah. your face in the mic just and don't come back the whole right time. Right right now. <laughs> they, can like still hear you. The they can still hear you. You just sound like a crazy person running <laughs> around the room. That's pretty accurate, at least. Anyway, will be I think the Phantom Menace is. Fantastic movie, but I'm lying right now. Ooh. I think that series. Cool. I can see why it'd be difficult to debate you on a debate show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul, this conversation it goes up and then down, huh? Someone said, Brittany Linkus said she can hook us up with some baby Yodis. Oh, baby Yodis. Her brother makes them his his uh, 
Word? Are, are they cookies? Do we eat the cookies? Yeah, are, are they edible? Edible? Sister. Dot com. <laughs> Brother. I think we're going to try to refrain from the last that. names all the time. Oh, that would be the best, the best idea. Sorry, Winnie. Ultimate really. best idea. Uh, well, she, she's, uh, she's a fan of the show, though. So. If you're a fan of the show and you're cool with us saying your full name, fuck it, we're going to do it. She's I want also your social security number. Yeah, also your, your credit card information, mm-hmm. the three numbers on the back. For real, though, you can go to officialhog.com. Mine is a five. Anyways, about Star Wars, and I, we're going to wrap this up just because I wanted to mention it because we're talking about movies, and this movie was like, this is a big deal for me. Star Wars, you, you and I, it's been we good for us. We all of them we except for to, this latest one. Well, we went to, anytime we were in the same place, yeah. we would go see the Star Wars movie when it came out at midnight. Like So right. we did it with episode one, I think, when we were young as fuck. Yeah. I think we did, or at least we didn't go together when we met up or something. Because I definitely went. Yeah, no, we did it. But then, like, the new ones came out, and we yeah. were like, all right, we're going to go see 7 and 8. We're going to see Rogue One, Solo. We're going to see it all right, in the right. fucking theater. And uh, we did that. And so uh, there's a significance to this movie, I think, pe- for people. And that's why I just wanted to ask you about episode 9. With And you, you've done a great job of not spoiling it. <laughs> I saw the first I, movie that you have in theater. I th- which, at first as in, like, the original 1977? No, no, Phantom Mentis. Okay, Mentis. Cool. <laughs> the Mint. The Phantom Mentis. 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 The, the Phantom Mentis. 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 The and they you all can't said, be do like, whatever you want. George Lucas, what you're doing with Star Wars is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially because he had all the money and decided to reinvest it in, in making new movies. Like, yeah. That I really sense. liked Jar Jar, too. He was a great character. Man. <laughs> you're just, lying again. Just son of a bitch. Great. <laughs> new topic. Yeah. I, I do want to say, though, that uh, the biggest complaint I've heard about this new trilogy is that it feels like fan fiction. Mm, and yeah. it fucking is. You're, yeah. you're right. It's oh, a whole it's, nother. It's not from. It's, it's not word of God. So guess what? Their kids, oh, their kids decided to do this stuff. And then guess what? This happens. And then this happens. And then guess what? This happens now. Oh shit, this happened. My too. favorite quote is nobody hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. And it's so true because here's the thing even though Star Wars is significant in my life because of what JD just said, it's because I'm a film lover, it's because I always go at midnight. The truth is, Star Wars, I could fucking take it or leave it, dude. I just enjoy the show that it gives me, and then I go home. I don't really fucking think about it again. Whereas some of these other movies that you that we all we know will, and love, I will obsessively watch them over and over. Yeah, yeah, I'll obsessively watch those. I don't do that with Star Wars. I just enjoy the show, and then I go home. It's kind of just a film lover's thing for me. And so therefore, I don't fall in that category where I come out with these super strong opinions where I'm like, Yo, you know what, fuck Star Wars and fuck George Lucas for this, or, you know, like, I don't, I don't go there. I, I'll really. always say fuck George Lucas. <laughs> but, <laughs> the actual next thing, I think we're we're gonna do on real dumb mm-hmm. is just a new trilogy like disney trilogy review yeah like a smash through and yeah knock so, it out um, um hopefully we get that recorded sometime cool. in the next two weeks yeah when it happens yeah if it, if, when it happens you know it, we'll we'll share the link obviously on all of our social media accounts that we got all that shit speaking of social media yeah that's what this it. fucking shows about we get on social media and ask you guys your opinions about shit and we fucking uh, kill it. I think Gracie what? should kind of go first. Yay! On this shit. Because they want me to do a poll tonight. Do you want us to answer first, or do you want the Holler Nation out there? We can answer first. I mean, I have 17 snaps, so it doesn't matter how Fuck yeah, going. that's killer as shit. Okay, so I asked Holler Nation who the biggest asshole in cinema history is. It doesn't necessarily have to be a villain, uh-huh. just who's the biggest asshole in cinema history. Mm-hmm. All right. So you're ready. Okay. I'm, I'm going to answer first. Right? This is my goal. Listen, you're I never so want to be I'm so excited. You're like visually excited. Ooh, we can see I'm it. I'm so glad you guys can see me. I said Jenny from Forrest Gump. That's my thought. Damn. I did not expect this answer. No, no, not at all. 
Yes. 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 She used him, and at the end, oh, he's named after his dad. For real. For real, Jenny. For real. I also thought you meant actual actors and not the characters oh, in the movie, no, which is what my answer is. So what do you think is going with that? What makes her an asshole? I think that whole I, I because took this you one just off used a different direction. Hang on, hang on a second. Two people talking at once is tough for Sorry. people that listen on the phone. I, I, what? <laughs> How, what do you think she's an asshole? so mean to poor, sweet Forrest. He was just... Loving and he loved her, and she was just mean and was just yeah. mean and used him and hurt his feelings. And it made me mad. I wanted to punch her. Girls like that are dumb. Stop being like that. <laughs> well, she also just came back like years later and dropped Haley Joe Osmond off with her. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking know. The cutest child in the world. <laughs> I fucking bitch. know. Well, you know what, Gracie, um, you hate her. Wait till you watch 500 Days of Summer. I know. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Triggered. Everybody's triggered. Really, okay. okay. I got guys. <laughs> <laughs> so that must be what your answer is. Then. It's, not your answer, it's absolutely right? not. Wait, oh, his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no, right. dude. I okay. So listen, I misinterpreted Grace's question. And I'm just gonna stick with my misinterpretation no, with here. The answer, yeah. um, my bad. Tim Robbins is my answer. And I'll tell you, what? Uh, he is from uh, Shawshank Redemption. You might know him as Andy Dufresne. Right, so you think he's the you mean the, the actor person. himself? Like, the actor himself, himself oh, is yeah, the biggest really, asshole. You really muffed that up, bad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My bad. Um, yeah, my bad. I don't give a fuck. It's my podcast. I'm going with. Yeah, so, right, right. Uh, Tim How Robbins. Do you think he is? Tim Robbins is my so answer because I'll tell you. Um, I sat through a seminar once uh, in college for one of the producers from Shawshank Redemption. He came and uh, he, he gave us a whole speech on how he did the movie, how the guys put it all together. He was speaking about the different actors. And I already heard this about Tim Robbins in the past, but this guy really hammered it home. And he was very open and honest with everybody. Uh, this guy said, that guy is impossible to work with. Whereas like Morgan Freeman uh, is so open. He's so honest with everybody. If you want to do 10 takes, do it. Tim Robbins is like, you're going to do my take when I want to do it. When I say you're going to do it, and I'm going to have to like that, that take that I do for you to accept it, period, and then I'm going back in my trailer, that kind of thing. And so that's always stuck with me. And even when I watch like his movies, he's so fucking good like on film. It's, it's hard to believe that he's that kind of dick, but I guess he's a good actor. <laughs> yeah, all right. He's a pretty good actor. Uh, damn. Uh, interesting. I mean, I have, a, I, have an answer, I have an answer for both styles of question now. Well, I think the, uh, I'll go quick with my I promise. We're just going to knock him right out. Uh, most asshole, you mean the most asshole actor, Edward Norton, 100%, because apparently he does what Tim Robbins does to it. To he a, seems so to cool. Uh, he seems Fuck. so cool. I've heard Too he's bad. really difficult to work because with. Because he decides that if he's going to be hired as a named actor on a movie, he has to have editing rights. So he actually That's sits right. in the editing room with the editor and goes, no, you can't do that one. No, you can't do this. I you have like, to do this. Yeah, fuck away. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Uh, anyway, but asshole character part, uh, shit, I had it right here. It was right here. Uh, biggest asshole character would probably have to be, fuck, I lost it. I fucking lost it because then I started talking about Edward Norton. I, you could almost say fucking Tyler Durden in Fight Club, biggest asshole, <laughs> because Edward Norton was just trying to like, go to sleep sometimes and then it was like fuck he didn't develop to fucking yeah, seconds you know I mean was, you know he was he suffered from fucking you know and so but he can't sleep because he has to make fucking soap <laughs> <laughs> he can't sleep uh, come back to me for the real thing sorry about that we need to hear y'all's answers now <laughs> do you guys have some like, biggest I asshole I don't want you to lie so you don't tell the truth no no I will uh, read the question out loud again who yeah. is the biggest asshole in cinema history? It doesn't have so to be. So I took this a really weird direction on uh, Harvey Weinstein. Oh, damn. Obviously. Wow. And I've heard he's around. actually been an asshole before all the sexual bullshit, too. Yeah. But after that, he. Yeah, of course. He should probably be, like. In jail forever. Hung. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. Hung, well, you know. But no, I've heard he's a very difficult person to work with anyway. Like, even the whole Weinstein family is just notorious for being, like, make or break you in Hollywood. And it's like, obviously, that's how... I don't know if it, obviously it is. Right. But probably how. Well, shit. How uh, you make or break someone. That's interesting. We all went different <laughs> avenues with this. And then I had the it's one such a that she had brought up and then and lost it, it because of the thing you did. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't need it. I love it. Where did you go with this answer, man? I want you to. 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 I want you to.
yet another direction. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I was just I, was going. Going. I, can't, I, I can't believe it. In, in my so interpretation, good. you're all talking about pieces of shit. Yeah. And I'm talking about an asshole. And an yeah. asshole is entertaining and makes some good fucking points. And that is Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. That's, That's a good fucking one. Great. I like I it. With that too, but. I like it. Uh, well, okay. What's your your position on that? Like, he's an asshole because just watch any given interview with this man. Ah, okay. And he uh, he just starts screaming. <laughs> he just, just starts just screaming. screaming nonsense. I feel like sometimes when you hit a certain level of genius, you just become kind of that asshole where you're just kind of like, yeah, fuck everyone's opinion. Yeah, he's, he's like, like I'm pointing fucking Tarantino. <laughs> I made your favorite movie. Right, right. You can fuck off. Yeah. Well, shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, at I, least his career will be over soon because he only has like what two movies left or one, something, or one movie one, left. One, or he said he's. Well, he might ten. split it into two parts, maybe. I don't know. Four, five, maybe. Okay. Sure. What happened? The search for three. Kill Bill Four. The search for. Dude, that was two movie references. It's like. Smashed together the one that was a movie reference mashup. <laughs> we just all. He is actually super oh, pretentious. Geez. Oh yeah, of course he's he fucking Quentin like Tarantino. Being Australian and uh, Django <laughs> Unchained is like, why were you even in your own movie? Like, there was no fucking reason for you to be there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna see what Hollow Nation has to say, and my first time I'm gonna open is from Franny Hunley. Yeah. <laughs> Franny Coffee Hunley. I hope little coffee beans in this. And you can snap her at Franny Hunley just like it sounds. Okay, I gotta make sure this is on. Sorry, I don't know. I had to pee this. real quick. Sorry. Uh, oh. See? Okay, so first character, asshole character. Very good answer. Wonderful yeah. answer. That was a uh, that was a asshole villain you loved to hate. That was like the whole deal. With, with her. That was that's good shit. The next snap I'm going to open is a tech snap from Brandon, and you can snap him at Chill Man Puppies. That's spelled how it sounds. And he says Gaston from Beauty and the Beast is a bitch. Nice. I agree. Another character. See, these you people knew exactly good, what I was yeah. talking about. You people. We all went no, really I, weird with Went off the rails. <laughs> okay. just, just, just a little bit. Really <laughs> Some of these people I don't trust, so we'll just see how it goes. I want to open how many more? One or two? I'll open two. This one comes from Andy Nip, and we snap him every week, and it's A Nip three two two. AKA Jonathan, check yeah. him out on the internet. He's on Spotify. Look mm -hmm. up uh, uh, all his music and listen. Yeah, um, yeah. This might be out of order. He told me that. All right, Gracie. There's a movie out there that's called Lawless, right? I hate Lawless. It's in the top five of my most hated movies, right? I hate everything about it. Um, I hated the plot. You know, the character development hit everything. However, there was a nigga in the ooh, my God. There was a dude in there. The villain? The villain in this movie? I never hated a villain worse than I hated this name. Like, 100% <laughs> being a death eater for Voldemort over wanting to see that nigga live another second. Like, hated the movie. That, that, that villain was bleh. Okay. Okay, perfect. The villain from Lawless. That was the movie with Shia LaBeouf and fucking yeah, I can't Tom Hardy. Right? Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, the, oh, but, um, the, the villain is uh, yeah. Guy Pearce. He was oh, okay. he was super oh. brutal in that too. I didn't even recognize. Him. I had like weird teeth. He's pretty, pretty good at playing shit. assholes. Oh god, he beat the shit out of Shia yeah, LaBeouf. And he's that's really good playing assholes. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good at playing assholes. He played Ebenezer Scrooge in the fucking Christmas uh, remake. The what was it? The oh, Christmas yeah. Carol remake. That just happened on like FX that they made. It was like a grim, dark version of Christmas Carol. Did you guys hear about uh, it? Guy Pierce is, is FX. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got FX, dude. Okay. But he play he plays the ultimate asshole. But, but he, he beat the style above, like he beat yeah, the shit all of I get it. It's great. Okay, the last time I'm going to open for this round is from our good pal Logan, and you can send him at Logan Bug Three, and that's spelled just how it sounds. And he says, Dolores Umbridge, hands down. So that's Damn. another one. Okay, so tallies might have to get made. Because that might end up being just... Listen, I can't open snaps and tally at the same time. 
That's true. Well, that's one for everyone said that's not Dolores Umbridge, and two for <laughs> Dolores Umbridge. <laughs> <laughs> not Dolores Umbridge, Dolores Umbridge. Who's Dolores Umbridge? That's the best way to tell you. No, that's like the ultimate way to tell you. Harry Potter character. Oh, that's why I don't know. Have <laughs> right. anyone done the, the Harry Potter movies, dude? I usually fall asleep. Oh, man. You gotta just get past the first one. You just have to get past That's the first one. That's what I'm I'd say take it from four to eight or ten. Three. I've you seen a couple read, of read, read the books. Maybe. Read the books. Yeah, yeah. The that would end up making it. Guys, I don't know how to read. Yeah. Like, oh, audience is not watching. Yeah. They have audio books. Yeah. Audio books? Yeah, subscribe. All right. Use so, Joe Rogan's code. You get 20% off your first audio tell. So, the real dumb morning. The real dumb today, boys, are here, and we're continuing to talk about movies. And so, I'm going to start talking about my poll that I sent out to the Holler Nation, which was which movie character do you sympathize with most? So, again, I said which movie character do you sympathize with most? Some people might not know what sympathize really kind of means. They might think it means empathize. They might think it means the closest to or what I feel more like or whatever. But that's what I wanted people to kind of, you know, go with here on this. Uh, I'm going to open mine first and we're going to go around and talk about ours, okay? Uh, I'm going to open up uh, a couple snaps. That's what I want. We're doing Snapchats on this round here. Um, This first one is going to come from... Uh, it's Rachel. She uh, is normally I would just uh, do our Rachel soundboard thing, but I don't have that right now. <laughs> uh, but you can snap her at Ray does here on Snapchat, and this is what she has to say. I was not very well liked in school Another until probably my senior year, but mostly because I was an asshole. I only learned to not be that way later in life. And I do really enjoy learning. Yeah. And I got you and tight group friends. All right. Word. Yeah. She was a, she was a <coughs> bookworm. I guess that's, I mean, that's the sympathetic part. I don't know. Let's see how, how you, you know, how everybody deals with it. This next snap comes from a friend of ours. Uh, he goes by the name of Josh, but he also goes by audio. You can snap him on Snapchat at O D D E E O O. Uh, let's see what character. This could be an interesting answer, I'm sure. Uh, what's up, Bob? Oh, definitely McConaughey in Interstellar. You know, deal with spent like three weeks or so in space. He comes back and his daughter's entire life has passed by. She holds all that resentment towards him. His whole family fucking hates him for trying to save the world. That shit breaks my heart. <laughs> damn, dude. That's a good answer. That's a damn good answer. <laughs> Did you just start crying? No. <laughs> I said that was before. He was crying. Uh, oh, shit. That was a really good fucking answer. I've been crying for days, guys. <laughs> Why are you crying? He just Why? watched Interstellar, man. So, you know. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's not bad, is it? You guys, obviously, you guys had to have seen Interstellar. I have, yeah. It was good. Did you see Interstellar? Oh, it's one of my favorite movies. I argued it on the, on the real dumb. What did you uh, argue about on it? Uh, <laughs> I lost this question actually. Yeah, I, it was the championship. Was the it, it was the, it was the no, round was the before the yeah. championship. But no, I uh, my argument was Interstellar was the best representation, the most realistic representation of outer space in film. And I argued this because they used the math of Neil Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. They they argued what the theory of, of relativity is and black holes, etc. But I was trumped because someone just Starship said, Troopers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of the real dumb <laughs> debate guys. Uh, no, no, no. One of the real dumb debate guys said Apollo thirteen because it just was what it was. It yeah, was it was literally the thing. Yeah, so it's like the, it was the everything thing. I knew about the movie just went to shit. It didn't matter because yeah. you're just like, well, that was outer space. And yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> All right, I don't think well, I was there for that one. I'm like, yeah. that. no, you were. You were. <laughs> you were. You were <laughs> drinking your sippy cup at the bar. I think. Shh. But no, I, I, seriously, Interstellar, man, one of my favorite movies of all time. When they go in, at spoiler alert, you should have seen it by now. If not, who cares? It's too late. Um, <laughs> this, this movie after, goes in after, after, spoilers. after spoilers. We're we're good for that. Here we go. I mean, this movie goes into what the fifth dimension may or may not look like. I think it's an amazing job. Uh, that's where a lot of people say the movie goes to shit. You'll hear that a lot about uh, movie buffs are like, well, the movie goes to shit at the end. But in my opinion. 
my humble opinion, I think it's an, an awesome ending to show you what how they could, uh, I don't know, like uh, like navigate through the fifth dimension of life. It's like the best way that they could explain how... He dives into a black hole, now he's stuck in time or something. He's not fucking aging, but the rest of you will age. It's cool, dude. Does that not sound cool? Yeah, yeah. That sounds cool, right? I think it was one of the best acting things that Matthew McConaughey has actually ever done. I can agree with that. He did fantastic. He was really good in the Lincoln convert. <laughs> oh yeah, those his booger rolling. His booger rolling was really intense at all those red lights. I like Matthew McConaughey, but hey, you know, there for a while, hit or miss. Word. Well, what, uh, Corey, what would your answer be to this one? Who's the most sympathetic character, movie character for you? Like the one that I sympathize with the most? Yeah, that's the question. Harvey Wines, no. <laughs> no! No! God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Somebody turn his mic off. <laughs> Every answer is Harvey Weinstein from the rest of them. Do it again. Bunch of time. <laughs> no. Whatever his name is from 500 Cases Suffering to Support the Left. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I just, every, like, sometimes I just wake up and I want to, like, just break plates. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great movie reference, by the way, because he's throwing plates oh, yeah. in the movie and just smashing. He's them not even place. throwing them; he's just he's like yeah, like has a dead, the side dead of stare into space, just smashing plates. Whenever. Yeah, I've been there. I've done that. Sometimes I've seen a musical on the road too. That was a good scene. <laughs> uh, was a good movie. Yeah, that movie was a, was a good representation of you know. Like a real deal fucking, yeah, well, didn't yeah. work out. All right, we're going to have to go ahead and eat skating. You know, like, shit. Uh, damn, so, yeah, like. I, I, I also, uh, my third answer was Dirk Diggler. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't yeah. go with that one. All right, you're cut off uh, <laughs> for, this, for this answer. I was about to make a really good point about 500 days of summer. And it's gone, man. Yeah, there we are. Uh, uh, you know, no, my uh, the, the quick point I was going to make about that movie was there are a lot of women that sympathize with her character, with Zoe Deschanel's yeah. character in that movie. So, makes sense. You know what I mean? I think that movie was built to be sympathized with on both parties of a breakup. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like shit. That's and which is great storytelling. And that was the whole point of that flick. That's why it's great. And then you go on to make Amazing Spider-Man too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> There you go. Uh, how about you, Matt? Thanos. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, <laughs> fits, I think. Uh, actually, John Connor, because who the fuck doesn't want an awesome badass killer robot that'll do your bidding? And then he, like, loses his badass killer robot that will do his bidding. Damn. And then, yeah, you have the, <laughs> the moment of loss. Yeah. And I cried. Word? Uh, I mean, yeah. You're talking about Terminator 2. Of course. Obviously. Um, Judgment no, Day. No, Salvation. <laughs> Sweet. That's a different kind yeah. of cry. <laughs> Which honestly was better than Genesis. Not going to fucking lie. Yeah. Get, yeah. Get, get there. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, dude. Cool. This fucking Terminator, Terminator 2. That's a, good, that's a good fucking answer. It that's is. an interesting fucking character. Because around the time that I watched that movie, I was about his age when I was fucking watching it. So. Yeah. Same. Like, damn, like you can actually, that was literally like time wise sympathize shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was round all the time. Yeah. Well, I actually I never felt again, which is why I had to go that far back. <laughs> oh, <huh? laughs> Son of a bitch. Mango <laughs> chutney. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, I did my shit. Uh, let's do Brian's shit. Brian, you've got some uh, social media stuff. Yeah. Wait, I didn't get to answer. Oh, you didn't, did you? My bad. I wrote it. Oh, oh my you gosh. Did you write a page about it? I have a whole list. No, I'm just kidding. I believe you. But you have a dissertation, apparently. You either apparently. die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent from <laughs> Dark Knight. Yeah. Where were you? Blow up half his face and then he kills his <laughs> girlfriend and it's just sad. Yeah, why yeah, you yeah. become a villain after that? He's yeah. fucking everybody over with that uh, double-headed quarry he keeps flipping. It's just Damn. bullshit move. He's the biggest <laughs> asshole in the cinema. He's like, get there! He's shooting everyone out of heads and tails. He's like, what a dick move. Cigar or whatever from old 
No, country for old men. It's the same thing, right? Just oh, old yeah. Old men, no country. <laughs> old, men no, old men, no country for men. By the way, I, I never no country, went. Old Spice for men. Oh, old, old Spice. <laughs> old. We don't have the Old Spice. I know. I was going for the Old Spice. Yeah. Um, yeah. New soundboard today. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, I never went. I'll go real quick here. I sympathize most with. I think Joel from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and what I mean, Son of a bitch. what I mean by that is, I feel this man's sympathy. I feel his, I feel his sorrow. It fucking hurts to watch him hurt. That's what I mean by that. Which is really the question, because a lot of people are answering this with how they empathize with the character, and that's different than sympathize. By the way, just FYI. Uh, explain. Because. To have sympathy for someone means you you recognize their sorrow, you connect with their sorrow. To empathize, although, although you haven't experienced it, to to empathize with a character would mean you relate to them. Yeah, you, which you means you of, might have experienced something they had. So that's your people that are snapping you and saying like, "Well, I was a nerd in school, and this character was a nerd." They're empathizing oh, with the character. Oh, then I definitely um, empathize with Harvey Dent. Right. So this to is, this is a fake happen. To sympathize would mean you know like when did when I answer the question. I don't know. I don't know if any of us did actually. I'm kind of talking out of my ass. Yeah, it might just be all, you know, freaking circles here. But uh, that's all right. Cause I, I think both answers are cool. I wanted everybody to interpret it the way they would because the thing was I was trying to go for an opposite of Gracie's thing. She's like, oh, asshole. I'm not even talking about assholes. Oh, I got mine in. And, uh, and then I was like, well, how about people that you don't, we wouldn't kind of consider, or maybe you do consider asshole and you think it's a virtue. I don't know. Like, you know, it's whatever. Uh, but, yeah, that was the whole point of that shit. Um it's a good question. It, it, well, yeah, they were they were yeah, pretty good shit. Uh, but anyway, Brian, you have a question too. Yeah, um, I want to know. Yeah, I want to know what will last decade be remembered for. And so you could either go really deep with this question, or just not deep at all. You know what I mean? Like somebody answered. I already saw one answer on Facebook. It was like memes. The last decade, and that's honestly like in a weird <laughs> yeah. way a fair answer. Actually, yeah, it's a really it's, fair yeah, answer. Great. That's great. It honestly, is it's not like super deep, but it's pretty. I great. wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if, that, if there's not more answers like that. Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh my god. I honestly, this is one that I couldn't like even figure out an answer for, but that's probably a pretty decent one. Donald Trump. Oh, there you go. That was gonna be mine. I think. <laughs> I just okay, I'm going to go first. Else. I'm sorry. Are we, can I go first, or do you want to open up some snappy chats? Uh, no, let's go around the table first. Okay, so my idea, my thought on it was the fact that our generation is done taking shit from the older generation, and we started talking oh, back. The, and the boomer millennial rift. Yeah, and the generational gap own, is what you're saying. Yeah, creating our own opinions, and now we're vocal about it because we're older and we know more. Paying your things. taxes and own your houses yeah, and things. Yeah, and I think because I just talk shit to everybody. Well, <laughs> but anyway. getting fed up. Yeah. Yeah. So I think like that. That's my opinion. Like this decade, I grew up. I realized that things that I thought as a child and even as a teenager and a young adult yeah. are not I was brainwashed a little bit so mm. I feel like mm. fuck <laughs> that's some heavy shit right there I was Damn. brainwashed a little bit and <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident but that was real um, so I think this decade is going to be remembered for that shit. Millennials okay. talking back. All right. Uh, my answer for that is uh, social media and the mm. way it's per like way it's in injected itself into like your daily life now. Um, there are people in the world that don't have to use it or don't use it or certain ways don't. But the thing is, the concept of social media is not just Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, blah 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 blah. It is using your phone number, like sending texts, like all that is technically social media. It's all uh, it's pervasive now. We 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 now rely on a lot of that for certain elements of our lives, and it's because I guess the convenience aspect, but also mixed with the it's it's just all out there. Like everybody has the ability to get. We're technically people. cyborgs already. We always have this attached to us, you know, and we can just. Why are you using talk at that second loop like, inside of inside of. <laughs> <laughs> You're a silent. Yeah. You're a like yeah. a, you're a Terminator, Corey. A real you're, shitty Terminator. No, you're, your belt really holds your pants up, but your it's pants fine. have belt loops. I mean, which one's actually doing the thing here? You know. 
So okay, so I went. I went. Um, I, I have a. I have a watch too. Like it's strapped to me. It's electronic. It does things. Like, yeah. Like see, it. double cyborg. There you go. Yeah. Um, I went. I went kind of deep and literal with mine, and I think it's the it's the movement. It's the LGBTQ movement. I mean, okay. they got oh, the, okay. the equality rights movement. I think took a major leap over the decade. I mean, we yeah. saw everything. Like it's it got, true. I don't even want to get started. So 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 <laughs> well, we I mean, had a whole podcast we, yeah. on it. You know, um, gotta get started. Just, just get out there and, and, and take a look. It's true. Uh, equality has become. Yeah. I think more than any other decade, our last decade. Maybe social media helped with that. The about the, the ability for people to have a louder voice uh, could have contributed to the fact that could have. You know, uh, uh, people's voices are louder now, and they might be making points that the shit you heard in the past by the media that was being pushed to you. Wasn't saying, you know what I'm saying? Not brainwashed anymore. Mm. It's all getting tied together. Oh my gosh. You just fucked up so bad. Our brains are so fake. What the fuck? I think I'm a That's the whole point. Okay, so who else needs to go over here? So, what will last decade be remembered for? Let's go around the table. What's up? Do you know? This last decade, Trump will. Be. That's a great. I mean, I mean, it's just it's going from, to be, it's, which is wild because it's terrible. Which but, is wild because the majority of the decade technically was Obama, right? Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and, so um, you know, dang. You know, I'm <laughs> sorry. Brian keeps having to point to the mic because I. Not yeah, you hear Corey coming Sorry, right now. We can technically still hear you. I just you sound people, a lot better when you're up in that thing. I don't ever sound any better anyway. Do it. Uh, you know, Matt, what will last decade be remembered for? I just want to say I enjoy that we're at the point in the night where Brian starts talking to Corey like a child. <laughs> <laughs> it takes officially 42 minutes. I, I'm drinking out of a sippy cup with my name on it. So um, You wrote, wrote in a car seat on the way here, too. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. This is all true. I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Oh, oh my guys! Bad ah. <laughs> language. Uh, oh, I anyway, can't say that. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, the streaming service. Ooh, okay. Mm. Like the emergence of Netflix and onward, yes. where people don't have to go to the theater as often anymore to catch new or even watch raved TV. movies. Like Bird Box probably got. Way more uh, publicity and views and yeah. shit. Than, yeah. Uh, quiet place. And it's about to really explode in this wild, next wild, decade. It's a better movie. Right, right, right. Like, right. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, Bird Box is like the great value version. But everybody was already quiet. basically subscribed to Netflix. So that's why they yeah, watched Bird Box. And don't have to leave the house. Didn't have to wait eight months to see Quiet Place when it came out on the Red Box. But we did start this. De- I mean, you're right. We started this decade, actually, the last decade. We started it by, by subscribing to Netflix and getting discs. And then we just... Those are gone, and it's like a joke now. I mean, if you were to show that to a young person, they'd be like, "Why the fuck would you, you have gotten this?" Get it, though. I mean, yeah, I think you actually can. It's like, true. But it's just nobody does that. Everybody just streams everything, you know. So it's like, yeah, you're right. That's that's a really great answer. Yeah, um, let's, I like it. Gracie, do we have any? Uh, you want to go to Facebook while yeah, I? Yeah, there's some. Up? Yeah. Sorry, give me a few. No, you're you're cool. I'll pull we don't just snacks. use. One, one social media, we use a bunch. Yeah. That's what we um, do. While, while Gracie looks on Facebook, I'm going to pull up a few snaps. Let's kick this thing off uh, with an answer from Gabe. Uh, you can snap Gabe at Gabe Stabil2. Um, he sent us a video. What's up, Gabe? Some will say Obama. Some will say Trump. I don't want us to forget about kids eating fucking Tide Pods. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one! Yes. Yes. It's a fantastic start to the show right there. Fucking Tide Pods. Delicious. Um, they are. Let's let's cool. go with another one. This is this is Corey. You can snap Corey at Lucapena567. Good luck spelling that. Here we this, go. This is not me. Thank you all. It's good to be here. Love the show. And uh, this decade's probably going to be no problem. Damn challenge. Like drinking that this and flipping that thing there, all them challenges. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. The top one was a challenge thing, though. Yeah. I, I so we had him. two challenges in a row, I and mean, they're not wrong either. I, like, I love cool. that guy. Yeah. That guy was great. Yeah, he's, a, he's a character. <laughs> um, let's do this next one from V. This is Vera. You can snap her at Busy Bees three 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 three. <laughs> there she goes. 
Bullshit. Oh, it will be remembered for bullshit. Thank bullshit. you, D, for that deep Total answer. Um, let's go one more. This is going to be a good one. I can just feel it. This one comes from Jason Parsons. You can snap him at Parsi Par. Parsons, what's up? Complaining as social media bitching. Mm. Mm. That's all it is. Facebook whining and crying. Twitter, like anybody gives a shit about what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Gracie. Any, Meanwhile, any we're doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I shout out my Twitter to start the show. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, Candy says memes. Word. Brittany says the evolution of social media and the way our lives have rapidly Lots changed. Lots of social media Seven. answers, JD. And Kyle says the first reality TV star to be elected president. Uh, oh, God there, damn it. there he is. And that was what? recorded behind the scenes of a reality television <laughs> show. I saw yeah. that somebody had um, amended Trump's uh, Wikipedia nice. to say he is the only cast member of Home Alone 2 to have been impeached. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong. Fantastic. <laughs> there was a... Was it England that cut him out of... Uh, the, the movie, that scene, like... It was Canada. Canada? They cut it out. You're right. Okay. Sorry. But anyway. We're... Like, before he even got elected president. It was like, we don't want Trump in this movie at all. I had a tweet roll in oh. last second here. This one comes from Sal. And Sal says, um, I had a friend answer. And the friend is at itty bitty fag. Okay. They nice. said LGB... TQ writes. Oh, well, so, there you go. There you go. Same on the same answer. page. One again. Word up. Yeah, so. Oh, that was um, a really good answer. All these were pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they're all, they're all, yeah, they're all. Makes sense. It's crazy, too. Like, uh, that's how we relegate, I think, decades. And that we just passed one, and it's a big kind of deal in, in people's lives. You only have a few of them in your life. You know what I mean? You only have a few of them. You always look back, and you just say, like, my sister's name. But you always look back and you go like you know like the you know hey bro you know the nineties you remember the nineties you remember the seventies you remember the eighties and now so, it's, you remember the tens that's just the tens sound was, right at all the tens was social media pretty much social means well and we got more answers coming later on too but uh, before we uh, keep doing things we're gonna scoot boots on to the next thing does that sound good to you yeah let's do it all right sweet Link up at officialholler.com. All right, we're going to take a break on the recording of the podcast, but we're still going live on Facebook with you all very early in the morning. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Yes, actually. It, it, uh, it's only one twelve. It's all good. That was a great band. Peaches and cream. Uh, yes. I got this. This is why I'll be right back. Like the right. next scene when you Shots guys go fired. live again, I, I'm just not here. Oh, that's when you <laughs> fall. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a chair missing. You guys can't <laughs> They're like, oh, no, that didn't happen. Yeah. Corey is never here. so much I'm so tired but I'm also so hungry like why do I feel so like dead yeah <laughs> Brian didn't make me know I slept all day because I was sick oh how long is your so sick maybe a little bit so just letting all y'all ladies know in the back, we can still hear you on Facebook right now. So as you speak, that's happening. Uh, also, I'm here. On I support up, what I said. I said, why are men sucking in 2020? I support that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, World War Three. What do you guys think? Cool, right? <laughs> I have asthma and nearsightedness. I'm fine. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm fucking mid thirties. They're not gonna be drafting my ass, you know what I'm saying? you I could have had a be- I could have had a child when I got out of high school, and they'd be drafting that motherfucker. If it's, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Will you be? Will you? Sorry, be- Internet Terrell. Some of yeah, you guys probably kind of like war. I don't yeah. know. Shady, you the bomb. We have two glasses. Um, you the bomb, sure. Okay. Um. <laughs> Will you please mention World War Three, but then throw in Cardi B's? Bum, 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 it's already bum, you bum. just did it. It's already there. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, but not live. Also, Brian, name the time and place. I will fucking go toe to toe with you <laughs> about five hundred days of summer. Here's 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 I will go yeah. so up, y'all? hard. Y'all? Like we don't have to disagree about the hundred percent of the movie shade. No, uh, not a hundred percent, but I will yeah. go. We can I debate this. Watch it so five hundred times, so I will. Oh. That's fine. Five hundred days. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, so this is for sure. I kind of identify with Simon. Thanks for so. chilling with us on the internet, Gracie. You want to like uh, see? Uh, oh, you're not Gracie. Sorry. No. So, <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, we're just we're live on the internet, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to talk to uh, you people out there that are leaving us shit. Uh, <laughs> Brian says it's dark there tonight. Oh, he's so Man. difficult. <laughs> Did he do this himself? Did Brian also said hi to Candy if Candy's watching this or if she listens to it later. Uh, mm-hmm. What's up? She says what's up. Did he rip himself off of the show? Um, we came over and made us look up the Kayla says, and uh, under. holla, holler. She goes, that's G lingo for what up. Aww. Nice. Sherry says, hey. That's my answer. Uh, that's super cool. Thank you guys for getting on our social media and talking doing? to us. I'm doing your fucking job. Uh, <laughs> give me that. So I'm not going to see what my answer was, but now drink. I feel really basic for my answer for your question. Your answer, <laughs> to, to, yeah. To Gracie's poll. It's because it got real weird. No, because. Everybody took it so differently. Well, no. No, I feel you... basic because everyone's saying my. Oh, shit. <laughs> because it's the same. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I knew my sister was I didn't think everyone's better. mind would go to that. Actually, I had another one, but I'm like, no, let me do this one. I should have done the other one. Also, it's just wild, like, how movies also will go. Yeah. All these different, like, generations will think of different ones. And shit. Uh, I now love I'm going to wreck my brain about my actual character. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. Hey, nice I can't totally remember. Oh, yeah. I almost, because he said fucking Joel from Eternal Spot Shot, uh, you know. Eternal, Eternal Spot Eternal Spot Shot. <laughs> Of the uh, Honestly, uh, what my answer could a good movie. On that one, dude. Shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would have been a good answer for that one, but okay. Yeah. The, dude, the, the truth is. I can sympathize with so many of them, though. Like, Gaston, I can still see, like, somehow, like, a sympathy thing for him. Like, I don't know. Gaston from, like. Because you guys have, like, the movie? asshole, and then you have, like, the sympathy. And it's like, I feel like I can sympathize a lot with the assholes because I still try to see it from their point of view. Uh. <laughs> that makes you kind of an asshole. So. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Sorry for being empathetic. <laughs> well, you know, what's funny Mid-sub is it's better to be an asshole than it is to be a dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd rather be a smartass than a dumbass. <laughs> That's what's up. That's a good answer for that. Yeah. We're going back live here in a bit. We're still live, but we're going yeah. back we on podcast world. We're just uh, kind of taking a fucking break for a second, y'all. If you're still hanging out with us on Facebook, that's awesome. If you're not... Uh, why am I talking to you? <laughs> Hello to Amanda's dad. Thank you for New Year's. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah. That's what's up. This is, this is the point of the show. This is the part of the show where we do this. Yeah. <laughs> where we're actually just being like, you know, back at you, comment section, what's up? You know? Yeah. <laughs> we went to the, I mean, this is just a shot. My dad's an angel. We all know that. This is true. We were going to the D Club. My dad gave me and Brian a ride because we were already turned. Okay. So he gave us a ride to the V-Club and we picked Shay up on the way from the Union. Shay said that she only had like a few dollars left, so my dad was like, fucking like, entry fees. Here, take $20 <laughs> and give Covers. it to Shay, but don't tell her it's from me. So I didn't. And then I gave it to her and said it was from me. And then today I'm like, psych, that was from dad. Psych, you already spent it, it's gone. Yeah. It's and now you can't be angry about who gave it to you. <laughs> yeah. It's done. It's already done. It's over with. He tried to give her $100 once. I did not take it. <laughs> wow. Dang. Were you stripping? <laughs> we were uh, at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm just kidding. Aw, oh, Dad just texted me and said, is that Shay talking? No. <laughs> it is. I wonder what he thought of my stupid joke that it just happened. 
Mm. I, think we'll get, I guess we'll get that comment here a little bit. Uh, what's wrong? I'm surprised. Yeah, it's fine. Where's your penis? Oh, that's a great one, dude. That's so good. I was so happy when I hit that earlier. Whoa. Oh, that was a mile. That was a I mean, like, I accidentally had sort of a fucking cackling on the show. Yeah. Did you like, oh, yeah. hand last night? I was actually heading for a button, and JD's hand pushed me yeah. to the button. Yeah, but uh, I didn't mean to. That was the thing. Was I thought you went for that button, which was funny. Yeah. Because you, you didn't go for the button, but the button you hit it up the with the thing that was hit. It was great. It was perfect. Ready so, yeah, 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 yeah. T minus, brother. I know. Oh, my what are you mad about today? That's what this whole. Shy, we're about to start back up, so I'm gonna let you get out the door first, so that the dog doesn't start barking and shit. I will. We have uh, rock stars in there. We want energy. Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. Give them a dollar. This is the time where I could be fixing some of the things that I forgot to do over here. Oh. Hey. Oh. I forgot to put the stabs on. I forgot to stab you. I don't think it looks that bad, by the way. I think that the brightness is just down on that screen. Yeah, I mean, the thing is... <gasps> yeah, but my dad Bless said you. it was dark, and when I looked at it, I thought it was dark, and then you said, yeah, it's a little dark. <laughs> I, think it was See, like, I, I don't think that we... It looks darker than normal. It does, I and I also... I don't think is it just the ring light? Yeah. yeah, the ring light is just turned down a little. Yeah, I mean, the season was a little hard to find. But I, think I did it, and that's how Brian that's what's told up. me I to do it. I do think of the, so. the ring light, like, you know, hit in the up in the above light, things like that, things about stuff, doing the internet. <laughs> this stuff's tough, man. There's a lot of shit over here. Do you even know? I don't think Dad how much it takes to make something like this fuck for happen. I don't think Dad got to hear your joke because he said, "What did JD say?" About when I thought about a joke, I didn't hear. You can just rewind if he wants to. It's all good. Please be kind. I now don't even remember what I said. We start this. Can you give him a cup? Yes. He needs his sippity cup. It's the one I have to make a little bit. Otherwise, I'll forget it. Corey once left his cup at my house and returned like days later to get it. because sippy cup. It's like an adult sippy cup. He loves this cup, okay? Hey, you love the cup? You know what I'm saying? I love that. That's great. We're going to end up using that one. Yeah, oh, absolutely. All the time. Why right. the fuck wasn't it on? Take the shit on the internet. Use the cocktail stick. <laughs> Those two together don't work well because of no, all the words. No, no, no. The yeah. first merch we get should be sippy cups with a real double logo. I totally agree. I totally agree. I you would sell those. those. Yeah. You'd fucking sell those. All right. Is everybody ready? Yeah. I think so. We're going to go ahead and get started. Thanks again for hanging out with us Facebook Live. But we're going to go back to the hey, standard-ass uh, podcast here. Oh, by, yeah. That's what we're by, doing. By yeah. my bit. Okay. Yes. That Thank sounds you. fucking wonderful to me. Let's move to it. Ready? Here we go. Three, two. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two. Three, two. <laughs> now this is a part of the show where you need to fucking do this part of the show. I think it's actually really popular. Oh. Mm-hmm. I got two claws. What does that actually taste like, though? Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging in this long. This is Shots Fired. It's the part of the show where we're going to talk shit about something. So we're going to fire a shot about something while we take a shot of something. And you know what? To make it short and sweet, I'll just kick things off. Here's my Shots Fired. I'm going last. Here's my Shots Fired for this week. I have officially... Thank you, JD, for... uh, Just letting you know. That's awesome. I'm sure they were all on the edge of their seat as to where you were going in line. Um, I will go first. uh, And my Shots Fired goes like this. People that say the word... Picture instead of picture. If they're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna go out there and take some pictures or something. <laughs> Bro, to who? Come on, man. A, who you gonna take them to? Bro? Or from a picture. A picture could be in baseball. Um, but True. if you're going to take a picture of something, 
You know, there's there are two different words. I always it hate those. Fucking things. annoys me, dude. That's it. That's my shots fired. Cheers to it. Hit me up, man. I, uh, fire, fire some I of the shots. I wish you would expand a little bit more, but there's really no need. To. No, there's no need. To. That's just it. That's just it. Cheers. Well, like it's Pen and pen. Okay, guys. Yeah. Let's keep it going around this Why? way because you're gonna go second to last. Uh, Corey, uh, yeah, you got something to bitch about, Doc? Yeah, I've got so many things to bitch about. Yeah, like right. Pick one. All right. He also um, did your okay. So you got your shot over there, right? He's gonna do his drink. Oh, he's got his drink. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you're fine. All right, just making sure. But that's why it's called shots fired. It's because your shots. Well, he's taking a shot out of the sippy. He's taking a shot. Yeah. Podcast world is so Anyway, good. Corey, what's up, dude? What do you want to bitch about? People driving too fucking slow. Nice. Like, I'm sorry. Nice. Route 60. <laughs> you know, it's like usually. 45 like, miles next to me. It's a major you get, artery. You get behind uh, somebody right, that's right, doing right. like 25, it's like, you don't need to drive it. Yeah, just need, just, just going, stop. Just, you need to be going 54 miles an hour on Route 60. You know, you get on the interstate that's like 70 miles an hour and somebody's doing 35, it's like, get the fuck out of the road. Like, just stop it. It does get dangerous at that slow, slow rate sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah, Fair. that really uh, pisses me off. Okay, there shots fired. Fire. Shots fired. We're going to fire them. Bam. You take them. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, all right, man, what's up? Okay, I was going to... You definitely got a fucking opinion about something. Yeah, I was going to talk about... <laughs> Anything else, but we started with Star Wars and we're going. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I love it. It's a fucking film franchise, people. Like, it's nine movies in. It's not gonna be good. They can't all be fucking winners. It's a bankrupt fucking idea. Like the Mandalorian. I thought this was just. I was. I didn't know what direction you were going with this. Baby Baby Yoda. Like, just, just leave it alone. They're doing their best. Ryan Johnson thought he had some good ideas. J.J. Abrams thought he had some good ideas. They're fucking trying to entertain you. Leave them alone. Okay, there you go. That's actually a pretty I'm fucking for, good. Yeah, I'm That's for that not show. bad. Hey, everybody on the internet, fucking chill. I mean, so we know it's Star Wars. We know it's fucking like twelve. Years. We know it's fucking Marvel. Right? Yeah, we we get it. The last one. We get it. Everybody out there going like, ah, fucking superhero movies. It's like, man, okay. You fucking watch John Wayne movies, Boomer. All right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Okay, Boomer. Yeah, John Wayne was a superhero to fucking people like that. And He's a fucking, Boomer. Fucking <laughs> Iron Man is the, the our hero. You know? Like, Make a fart noise. Get over it. Uh, Grace, you go. Okay. Well, this is completely different than anybody has said. So, bathroom, bathroom doors in a public restroom that open and push inward the other way. instead yeah. of outward because you are not a mom trying to get your body your four-year-old's body and you, your body with a purse and a coat and her with a coat mm-hmm. into this baby ass stall and it pushes fucking inward into so into, into the, the, where the, the toilet, toilet goes. so you're trying to maneuver her body so she doesn't put her hands on the toilet and you're trying to maneuver your body so you don't push her body into the toilet mm-hmm. And it pisses me the fuck off. And usually I just think? wait for the hand that stuff. I got a thing. I got a thing. Maybe. Okay. Do you think maybe they let them, they make them go inside so that just in case it opens, you can stop it before it, it hits you in the knees while you're taking a dump? I know we don't take dumps <laughs> in the restrooms, mostly because no. uh, other people are humans and sometimes they have to. That's fine. Second, also, people are I other don't people. Care. So. If you're going to look at me while I'm peeing, then go ahead, you know, like... What? Just do it. I'm trying to really just think this one through, like, picturing things, babies' hands in toilets, (laughs) and Gracie peeing. (laughs) The door opens. So wait, what was the question? (laughs) (laughs) I'm actually with Corey on this one. What the fuck's going on? For once, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Corey, we're the same. Uh, the bathroom stall swing, doors. Swing doors. I think they need to swing both ways. They do. We, do. Well, we know what it is. Maybe they do need to spring. They don't need to swing your ways and, and, and be latched in a way where you got to pee. It's not comedy. They I mean, in my heart, I think they're just either swing both ways or swing fucking outwards. So I'm not putting anybody or anything in the toilet. Which brings me to the movie Swingers. Vince Vaughn. What do you guys think? One of his best performances. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that's great. Take your fucking shot. Oh, I'm gonna do a bathroom door. 
shots fired here and I'm just going to lay it out there and you guys might be able to agree with me on this. Recently, Billboard decided to tweet a top 10 modern rock modern rock chart of the last uh, I think they said the decade, the 2010s, which again was a major element of the show that we're talking about right now. So the last the top 10 rock songs of the 2010s the first three songs are all by Imagine Dragons. Oh my god. The fifth song. Just imagine them. Imagine that. <laughs> the fifth song is by the band The Lumineers. And it was what? the only song they had that was a, a hit at all. It was on They're the gone list. now. Nobody knows who the Lumineers are. If you've actually seen them, please call this hotline. Uh, but seriously, can you. Uh, is everybody else? Does, are you feeling me I on this? Don't. Uh, what is rock music too. now? What is rock music now? What is it? Is it uh, acoustic guitars with trap beats underneath it that no. have weird? Th is this rock? I don't think this is rock. That was all pop music to me. That was yeah, not rock. Music. I agree with you. Now pop music does evolve and change, but they have a pop chart. Okay. They also have a rock chart. What the fuck is wrong with you fucking people? Well, there is no rock happening in here, and I'll be done. This is my shot as far as I'm fucking letting it out. <laughs> Seriously, it because out. listen, I was a fucking rock guitarist for yeah, fucking yeah, over yeah. 10 years in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm telling you, all that shit that was on those fucking charts in the last 10 years, that was not rock. Yeah, I'm pointing at you. You are that tripod. Facebook, internet, I don't give a fuck. Is that me? That tripod. I'm sorry, what? Uh, anything? <laughs> so listen, the way that you say I'm not done! Billboard. Rock music needs to fucking come back. Look fucking, at this Listen, distorted guitars. We need heavy fucking vocals. We need loud drums. We need people angry about things again. We need to talk about shit and fucking... Like, come on, man. Like, I literally am uh, predicting a resurgence. Am predicting. I am predicting. What's what would be the other way I would say it, Gracie? Can you? Do, uh, I are pre I are predicting. JD are. Plot twist. JD's now mad at the entire podcast. I is predicting then is how I say it. Awesome. You know what you did say though in the very beginning the way you said Bill Board I was like who's Bill Board <laughs> who is that Bill call him Bill he's that asshole that picked Imagine Dragons. <laughs> That's all I had to say. Yeah, that's all I had to say. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Bill Board. Bill Board. Jason, Man. We know that you don't like the billboard right now. <laughs> this is great because I was trying to really hit on a fucking heavy thing and be like, hey, guess what? Guitars exist and people actually like them. Why don't you put them in some of the music now? But then you guys literally took two different things of what I was saying, like the fact that I was using real grammar, and whereas you're using the other participle, it makes it different. And then you thought that when I said the word billboard, that I was saying a man's name, and his name was Bill Board. Hey, Bill, how you feeling out there? Bill Board. Bill Board, where are you? Uh, well, maybe, maybe I've, maybe I've answered my own shots. People don't give a shit about this stuff anymore. <laughs> They'd rather be talking about how... Have you noticed that the word billboard, it's almost like it's, it's, almost like it's two words? Do you, do you think bill is board? You know, because like, one thing is a bill and then the other thing's a board and then when you put them together, it... I'm taking my fucking shot. Fuck all you. All my <laughs> I hope you recover from this. Jake, you made me cry. <laughs> Yeah, it's safe now, man. I'm glad. <laughs> Just hold out hope for William Board Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll have a different album. Oh, BJ? He'll be so against his old the generation that was. Yeah. yeah. God damn it. Yeah, but true. Uh, I feel like with. The, are you? Are you? Are you coming? Because 
I know we're talking about movies on this podcast, but I want no, to talk I, about music for a second. I, I'm a media file. Like, okay. it, I absorb it all and just sit in a dark room while I do it. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, with a candle so, lit and the headphones on. Yeah. It's so, really creepy sometimes watching a YouTube channel. Nice. Great music out there. And you're, it's been true forever. You're right. not going to hear it on the radio. On the radio. Right. Like Nirvana. Well, that out. wasn't necessarily true forever. That was actually only true, like from the advent of tape recording and onward. Uh, before that, you heard it on the radio, and it went and made you go out and buy the record. Nowadays, uh, anytime we hear something, we can record it. And nowadays, especially, even if you post it up online and it don't let people download it, they'll download it. They yeah. still can. And also. Shit, I haven't even touched on what you talked about, streaming services yeah. for movies. It started with music. Oh, yeah. It started yeah, sure. with music. And, and so... The, the problem with um, media in general, it's becoming easier to do. Easier to do and not just get. Because it had to get like, easier to get before it got easier to do, right? right, right. <laughs> so, like, you know, be it movies, be it video games, yeah, be, be music. it music. Yeah. Um, you have anyone can really do it now. Go buy a computer, download. See, I'm okay with that concept of it because, it's in my opinion, way. when it comes to that, it means the cream rises to the top. If it is the best sounding, more people will listen to it well, and all that stuff. It appeals to the lowest common denominator. Right, right. And music, music does or what a- does? Anything. But you mean the Billboard charts do or the radio does? The radio, anything that's mass marketed. Is going See, to yeah I don't know I mean yeah okay I can get that because the more money you have to be able to throw behind it I get it I, I just so I agree it's with more you profitable too. if it's more digestible right. and if you get it doesn't mean if it, you get metal vocals and like growling yeah fucking uh, blast beats yeah that doesn't appeal to the not necessarily asking for the uh, with what I, with my shit here I, I really was just trying to make a commentary on the fact that they called it the rock chart. Well, and it I know had a rock guitar music in it, so it's not pop. See, that's wrong. Hence my shot's fire. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going to say, okay, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, that's fine. Um, but no, I, I can... I just, I just, I expect, like, I expect a, because uh, it's happened before. Music, just like fashion, just like even movies, are cyclic in nature, cyclical in nature. Um, you know, they, they, they rotate and they come back around. Um, when black is out of fashion, that means the last time black was in fashion, that amount of time, it's going to be back in fashion. Same, oh, no. same fucking idea with music. I actually had a uh, similar conversation to this the other day. Mm-hmm. And I said, thank God for Slipknot. <laughs> right. Because right. love them or hate them, they're a still doing it. heavier band right. that gets radio play. Right. Yeah, and still. I feel like nowadays... Yeah, but they're not played alongside Post Malone or Cardi B. Or, Why would uh, they the be? People that, like, well, would be the be, okay, because uh, the markets, all that stuff changes. The, the truth of the matter is, Slipknot is rock and you know it. Is Imagine Dragons rock to you? I've no. never heard Imagine Dragons. Mm-hmm. See, so then now you don't uh, have so how now, is, so you're uh, thank you're you're, 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 un, you're unknowing I've never knowingly the, heard Imagine Dragons. The thing is, you <laughs> have see that's what's interesting is that you have if you've walked into a McDonald's ever in the past ten years, mall or or a mall or any public place that has licensed music that plays. You walk in Hollister lately. <laughs> no, every public fucking place has music. Fucking with, yeah, every fucking Kroger. Room. Yeah, go Kroger there, is gonna. Yeah, you've yeah, heard it. You've I heard it. Actually, heard. It. If you've heard right. lightning and the thunder, boom, boom, boom. You know, uh, if you've heard this or that, you've heard it. It's just that, you know, it's not rock. Imagine it's not rock. rock. It's, it's not, not rock. rock. Can we squash right. it now? Can we squash it? Can we? I kind of don't want to. I can okay. talk about this. Yeah, forever. let's do it. Let's do it. One more hour. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, Bye. 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 Mark, let's go 209 with it. But I won't. I won't. And I guess, yeah, let's squash it. Um, you know, just turn the guitar up. Don't turn it down. In the mix. I think we agree with you. <laughs> we, we are in agreement with you, sir. Um, 
Can I say mm -hmm. one more thing sure. on the topic? Um, I've noticed that, like, okay, so you, when, when I was growing up, like, to be, like, the rebel or whatever, I assume we're roughly the same age. We're all the same exact Yeah, age we're, we're all right there. We're all in that so area. There was, I'm, I'm there was we're in that generation. There was new metal. There was, like, thrash metal. You, you could find stuff on the fringe. And I've noticed... Ska. Kids today... <laughs> I love Ska. Corey, listen man. to me now. I'm the boomer. I love it. Um, kids today, their, uh, their fringe is stuff like Bones. Yeah. Stuff that's like the antithesis to what's played on the radio, but still in the same wheelhouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I think, yeah. Again, I think that you're, you know, with streaming and with the fact that everybody can make music and that we have the ability to be able to seek out uh, music that's not widely released way easier. The thing is, you can technically widely release anything way easier nowadays. I could record a song right now on this program we're making this podcast on and then put it on Spotify. And we can like have the ability to fucking do a movie right now on Amazon Prime would and they might pick it up. They might yeah, they might pick it up and do it, which you know, that 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 shit can happen. But it's still like it still doesn't negate that the, these people that are saying that this is going on like this and what the thing is they're using the data. They're using the data from the streams, the downloads, the sales to say it. They're not out there saying this is how it should go. They're saying what people are responding to. And they're saying what people are being told to respond to and it's just to me a lie it's a lie how, how about uh we we quash this right now <laughs> and then once this podcast ends we load up a real dumb and we do a music debate and we yeah. do a <laughs> whole yeah, yeah, rock that. versus not rock music but it's still called rock music movie. i've wanted to be on a movie debate too i'm like i i have my own opinions about music i love ska because oh okay. I, I, I can We're, literally what? talk about this That's very like, fitting, the man. rest of the time. <laughs> well, I, I know Brian's got something planned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to scoot. Uh, boots, on to the next thing. Is that cool? Sweet. Well, Send your dick pics to I, still, I do remember. I have checkered my slip bottles, too. If the audience wants to know how much I like Sky, I wear checkered oh my slip bottles. Gracie, how is Facebook Live looking? Anything we need to shout out before uh, we move on to the next bit? No, JD did that during the break. I did. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Good deal. Good. Good deal. In that case, ladies and gentlemen, did you uh, load some sounds up on the soundboard? Where were those ones? The movie sounds are they on there? Uh, not like I mean like like the mean, horns. Just getting those horns on there that we talked about earlier. They're there and then. Uh, horns. You mean like these? That works. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Works. Welcome to Real Dumb Debate. Speed round. You're in it. That means you, J.D. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. J.D., you're in it. Gracie, you're in it. All right, first I am question the judge. go. I am the judge. And here's how this will work. Now, i got to explain it first for you and the audience. So here's how this is going to work. J.D., Gracie, you're in your own bracket. Corey, Matt, you're in your own bracket. A winner from so I'm each fighting bracket. Gracie. That's right, in the beginning. A winner from each bracket will come out and then fight in the championship. Now, this is the speed round that we spoke about earlier, so the way this will work, I will throw out a quick question. The first person to answer is going to get to go last. They get the advantage. The second person to answer is going to have a little bit of time to think about it. We'll eventually cap them after a minute of thinking. Um, this whole thing. So, you're gonna, so this is the lightning round. This is the lightning round. You're going to see how it goes. We'll do Corey and Matt first since they're the real <laughs> dumb guys. So uh, yeah. you'll get an idea of how it goes. And like I said, you guys are each going to battle. We'll see you in the championship. We will crown a real dumb uh, holler lose. debate champion. I like um, this. Absolutely, I will lose. Um, Let's go. Okay, so Corey and Matt of Real Dumb, here we are, round one. Speed round. You guys know how it works here. Kind of. <laughs> Who Just has a it. timer? Do I have I've got it. I've got it. Shut up. Here we go. So, <laughs> Don't tell me a shot. Here's up. the question. Guys, what current day actor has the most diverse range? Tilda Swinton. Oh. So, Corey, you're now on the clock with 60 seconds or less. Christian Bale. Those are the answers, second. that's it? 
No, no, no. So, is that no. how it goes? No, no, no. no. We're fighting. Yeah. Like, we we yeah. actually just let it happen. Real fist fight first. Yeah, actually, we start punching each other. Yeah. And screaming the answers. And all so the way it works, really Matt there might be screaming. So the way it works, Matt answered first, so he'll get to go last. Celebrity yeah. death match: yeah. Tilda Swinton versus Christian Bale. So, Corey, for this first part of the debate, you're going to have 30 seconds, and the timer will start when you start speaking. Christian Bale. He's thinking. Christian Bale's a, a great actor. He always has been. He's always like a, been a method actor where he's changed his weight like so many times, and he's always been good in everything that he's been in. He's done uh, perfect accents. He again, changes, like, the shape of his character, which Tilda Swinton always just looks like a weird, like, witch woman kind of weird fucking thing. <laughs> but she's, she scares the shit out of me. If she's not that great, she's the same character in every movie she's and you're in. Done. Which is, and you're, you're done. done. That's it. It's over. Okay. Uh, so. I now understand how this game works in my life. Okay. <laughs> and rem reminder here, as the judge, I'm taking notes and really taking this all in. I'm timing it as well, but yeah, no, yeah, it's going down. Okay, so uh, Matt, whenever you start talking, the timer's gonna start. You got 30 seconds. Fertilla Swinton. Yeah, it grows. <laughs> yeah, that was an extra second. Negate. <laughs> that. Pretty much all I got out of you was Christian Bale changes his body mass. He can go large. He can go slim. Tilda Swinton was in a movie where she played three characters, and I literally had to Google who played some actor because they seemed kind of familiar, and it was fucking Tilda Swinton playing an old man. And then she was a decrepit hag and the uh, main witch in Suspiria. Three roles in one movie, only recognizable in one. Um, she's also played... You're done. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Actually, damn. Yeah, yeah, see, this gets, this gets yeah, heated, yeah. right? This gets heated. Okay. Something that's cool about Real Dumb, by the way, I'm going to interject real quick. Something that's cool about Real Dumb is just because someone throws out an answer that you might instantly go, that's clearly the best answer. They may not argue yeah, with the best. Yeah. And that's the part of the debate. So you got to be good on both counts. You need to throw out a good answer and argue best. Anyways, for the next part of the speed round, you guys are going to go the same way. They get 15 seconds each, and then that's it. So we're going to go again, 15 seconds, and then we'll just same, the women. Same people. Same, same, okay. same people. So, yeah, so you get to sit back and watch one more time here. So... Corey, 15, 15 seconds, seconds when you start 15 speaking. seconds this time, okay. Yeah. Ready when you are. Again, I think he's more a dynamic actor than Tilda Swenson is. I I feel like she plays the same characters every single time, whereas uh, Christian Bale has played a lot of different ones, even being like a person from Boston or... Cockney accent, which is what his regular accent is, and people gave him shit over it. Tell this one, it's just like this Done. weird. Weird. That was I'm glad glad you're bonus, weird. You got a bonus yeah, five we'll seconds. Get, we'll give Matt a bonus five. Matt, uh, it'll start you whenever you're ready. Five seconds. And you've been gifted a bonus. Five. Down. Let's kick it. Ray, when you are. So, sure, Christian Bale, he. It bulks up, loses weight, changes his accent. We always recognize it's Christian Bale. Uh, Tilda Swinton has a far greater range. You have to actually IMDB movies to find out if she's in them. Um, she played the Ancient One, historically a male character. She, uh... Done. I feel like I should be <laughs> Damn, yeah. I haven't seen Christian Bale in drag. If you know all that, no, I'm just kidding. That was <laughs> That was not bias. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a fantastic debate, and that's exactly what I wanted them to bring okay. to the table. They, right. they really, they that really was actually that. good. They like both of like. Damn, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and peanut gallery this shit over here. Like, damn, that like both of those were really good oh, characters. Good. Like, I actually would want to watch a celebrity death match between <laughs> Tilda Swinton <laughs> and Christian Bale. And they both just sit there and fucking go, Ugh, like what? Like depending on like what? Who's the better method what, actor? What, you know, what, like, what Christian Bale would it be though? Like if he got real skinny? I mean, which Tilda Swinton would it be? Wait, but, would he be? Would it? Would Tilda Swinton be the fucking she'd ancient be like, one? Your or, accent, your accent is horrible. And he'd be like, "This is my fucking real accent." And he said that to a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, his accent is horrible. 
That's, I will, well, I, I will give him that. You're a racist. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be clear here about a winner, and that way we can move on. Um, Corey, your answer, Christian Bale. I thought is the better answer, by the way. That's what I would have went with, um, probably, possibly. I don't know, I was debating about two or three of them. I thought your answer was better. However, your attack on Matt's character was really just, she looks like a witch, she's scary looking. Um, whereas, I, yeah, and that's true, that's just true, I get it. And I laughed about that too, by the way. So, even though I thought, Hot though. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna go there. Like hot. some rolls. Yeah, really for know. sure. Like when she so. has a bald head and shit, it's like. Ugh. Okay, so we gotta wrap this up. At the end of the day, I think Matt had a more well-rounded argument. He gave me some about Tilda. He gave me some against your character, as opposed to just he. This person's scary looking. Matt's the winner of round one. He moves on. We're moving over to go. Gracie and JD. So I'm a bitch. Uh, hang on, gotta, hang on, you gotta take a piss. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm ready. And by the way, I had something prepared in case no one gave this answer, which no one did, so now I can move on to this actor. Uh, I like this question a lot, and Gracie, I'm tossing up, uh, Gracie and JD, I'm tossing up more of a softball to you uh, than these guys. Yeah, I mean, you are the amateur, no you're not the real what the fuck we're doing here. Right. But, all um, right. So remember, whoever answers this first is going to get to go last. So there is an advantage to that. But then again, if you don't answer first, you have a minute to think. So think about that. So here we go. Gracie, JD, your question. Give me Leonardo DiCaprio's best character in film. What's he think Gilbert Grape? Wrong. That's not a that's not as plausible answer. I don't think you. I don't think you said that movie. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Um, excuse me. Uh, wrong. Wrong. Uh, uh, it was. JD, you have a minute to think. Billy so. Costigan from The Departed. Hmm? I've never seen that movie, so I've never seen that. Oh well. I win. You guys have fun debating. Don't I automatically win? Shit. Yeah. Because both of those are actually great movies. Uh, no, and as a matter of fact, since you went second, you get to go first right now, JD. So, again, you're going to so have... So, can I say, what, what was your answer again? Well, the, whatever he is and what's eating Gilbert Grape. Oh, okay. What's yeah. eating Gilbert Grape. Right. Um, he's, he's already talking, though. We've actually. got what's eating Gilbert Grape versus The Departed. You could have started the timer um, already. Yeah, I'll go sure. ahead and knock this out of the fucking park. Okay. Go. 30 uh, seconds. You're on. Leonardo DiCaprio got his fucking start playing in Growing Pains, and um, he honestly uh, almost played the same character in What's Eating Grove of Grape. However, he had to act like he was retarded, <laughs> mentally retarded. Um, it's probably not too difficult for a starting actor to not be able to use their cognitive stuff, whereas The Departed is one of the best movies of all time, one of the best Martin Scorsese movies of all time, and he played that role. Done. <laughs> you got 49 I just want to say 49. I just want to say when you said The Departed I wanted to say The Retarded because of what you said about Gilbert Grape how hilarious um, that is so much fun um, Gracie whenever you begin speaking I about wish this, that we could hashtag but the, we can, the Retarded but, Departed we but we can't do that yeah, yeah. it is a bad word um, however back when let's see Gilbert Grape came out it was my stomach hurts and I'm really nervous oh. <laughs> 30 seconds once you start speaking, okay. ready when you are. Okay, I'm Okay, so in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, that's the first movie I ever remember Leonardo DiCaprio in, honestly. He had to play this mentally ill child who had to just act insane, and not everybody can do that. It's just a hard thing to do, I think, in my personal opinion. Um, he... <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm not good at this. Seven more seconds. He is just good in every film he plays, and so this is about it. That's all I've got for you. Bye. JD, you will have a 15-second <laughs> rebuttal. Um, Gracie's pretty much tossed you a softball at this point, so <laughs> you know, you've I've got 15 got seconds to really nail this thing down. When you start talking, we're going to go. JD's confident. He's swinging around. Swing it's a bat or a uh, He's gonna knock it out of the park, he okay, thinks. Go. <laughs> Hold. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the that oh yeah, he's pointing. <laughs> the character William Costigan from The Departed uh, showed uh, absolute wonderful range from the beginning of the film to the end. Um, it was a quintessential hero story. Uh, he was broken. He was. Yeah. I mean, it's literally. Done. 
best roles he's ever played. Yeah. Gracie, 15 seconds when you start talking. We're ready when you are. Okay, so Leonardo DiCaprio had to throw crazy fits. He probably had to watch and visit other children that have the mental issues that he had to play in. He had to get smacked around and thrown around. And Done. it's just chaos. <laughs> Fun how that works, right? It's very. I'm gonna vomit. Uh, <laughs> I really don't even like. I'm, I'm trying to quantify all the things we've both said here and see like what arguments are we making here. Now? I don't know because I've never seen that movie that you argued like his character. Which is so wild. It was really hard. And how what an interesting choice they both made on Leo. Yeah. You also have to have a really weird strategy yes. on this, like whether you just actually figure out like a good thing to say or talk really fast and say a bunch of shit. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, damn. That's, that's obviously hilarious. the best. It's very yeah. scary and I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> the Beach. <laughs> the Beach was Leonardo DiCaprio's best movie ever. The Beach. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had a list of about ten movies I thought people were going to throw at me. Uh, I got, yeah, I didn't expect either one of those. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> Go I didn't even. Yeah. I didn't expect. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna move this on to the well, championship. Well, no, hang on. Before you go judging, because I know we're gonna go to the championship. I want to hear like it yeah, sure. like they wanted to sure. say. You guys might have had some sort of commentary, like color commentary, yeah. maybe. Of well, I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't want to bias the. You won't. He's already made his decision. Yeah, my mind's made up. You won't right. bias me. You're not not Brian. No, he's done. He's a winner. He he wins. The, the Departed <laughs> is a great fucking movie. It is, but not. Because of Leo, no, his part's a little bit small in that movie yeah. uh, to to wow, to funny. highlight it as a as a main Leo role. Whereas it was a great Scorsese movie, though. Uh, I yeah, really I do love the fucking movie. I really do. It was I a, once, a good Mark Wahlberg. I once movie. fell asleep with that goddamn menu playing over and over. It was like looping in my <laughs> dreams, and it really fucked me up. Oh, You've never seen the movie, so you don't even... Yeah, wow. It's a great movie, by the way. Um, so moving on, J.D. this round um, Ooh, for yeah. the championship of J.D. versus Matt. Good luck, J.D. Um, Matt's going to stomp your guts. Probably, yeah. <laughs> so, so you guys got to get back in game, though, because... Uh, you do have an entire season's worth of podcasts in front of me. <laughs> um, so J.D. and Matt, championship round. Here. Same, same rules. Same exact same rules apply, and here we go. All right, we'll so... Am I first or last? What am I? Doing? This is where I throw the question oh, that's out. That's right. That's how we do Whoever it. Whoever picks it first is that's right. that's right. Got it. That's right. So here we go. Your championship question. By the way, everybody listen to this podcast. Please listen to Real Dumb Debates. Also, try this game at home. Right. It's, this it's is a fucking, lot harder this, than you think. This is a party game. Yeah, it is a party yeah, game. Yeah, this is, is a party game. Dude. You can drink to it. You can drink to I'm this fucking, right now. I'm we are, like, we've we been, been doing this for years. Why not record it? Right, right, right. That's right. good. That's yeah, fucking great. All right. Yeah, so um, just you guys, I feel like uh, people people listening, uh, whether they're on Facebook Live or listen to us on Spotify, wherever you found us, think you're going to like this question. Here we go. Championship round. I want you guys to give me the best film from Tarantino's collection. This no, shut up, for opinions. Mm, I have a caveat. I have a question because I can't. I can't answer unless the question is answered. Interesting. Yeah. Would we consider Kill Bill: The Whole Bloody Affair to be one movie, or is that two Tarantino movies? You as the judge, I think uh, it counts it as one. Yeah, I think. Well, it, that's it, what it, my it, contestant that's going against me says. Yeah, I, I so agree. So he actually has given me the... Because he yeah. technically should be done, but... But he's not. He counts Kill Bill as okay. one film. So that's why I'm asking. Count, count as one. That's why I'm asking. Okay, so back back to game on. No one's answered yet. Okay. Best Tarantino movie. Mm -hmm. That's basically what you're asking. The best film from his collection. I want that's to argue. His collection being the, what he owns in his fucking studio. What is nah, it? Nah, dude. You don't <laughs> have to go that route. Calm you, down. you know where we're going with it's this. It's his ninth... Flicks right. Made. Yeah, you've got nine right. choices. You've got nine choices, and you and me, Matt, have to pick the best you one. You have eight choices. And honestly, I Matt, have eight because the one you pick can't be the one I pick. No, I'm right. saying nobody's picking Death Proof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that, man. You might fucking pick it. I don't know. I've seen some really weird shit in these debates. <laughs> I really like well, Death Proof. Okay, can, uh, wait, wait, one more question. And I'm sorry, again, I'm the amateur here. You, I'm just going to say Pulp Fiction. Well, see, you took my answer. Well, that's just how it rolls. You, didn't say well, you asked, asked about ask Kill Bill to put it in two movies. Like, well, I asked to see. Uh, I asked to just to, 
Just to clarify. It's I a pretty think. it's a pretty straightforward question, so So I can't answer the same answer. No, you can't answer the same answer. I guess That's you could minute. if you But now you to. now you're on the clock with a minute. You've got a minute to think of, of your rebuttal. Of answer. another answer, even though that was gonna be the answer I wanted to uh, do. Yeah, you already did. You <laughs> talked <laughs> you, you you thought too much. Alright. Okay. This is great. JD My yeah. answer is Inglorious Bastards. Okay, gotcha. And those are both wonderful answers, by the way. They are. I mean, hell, you almost couldn't go wrong. I mean, you, but that's beside the point. Anyways, I mean, we only yeah. had eight choices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a, a I like the double down. Dude. That's awesome. Okay, so, uh, JD, you answer last. You're going to go first here, and when you start speaking, the clock's going to start. We are ready for you now. Of why Inglorious Bastards is the best film from Tarantino's collection. Just go for it. Best way to get jump in and just get your feet wet. Everyone loved Inglorious Bastards. Everyone, except for white supremacists. Uh, Inglorious Bastards was the first time I think Quentin Tarantino had created the alternate reality universe that he was putting together. Um, the cast was amazing. The cinematography was amazing. The uh, dialogue was amazing. Uh, one of the best villains of all time. Uh, not Hitler even. It was Hans Landa. Great. Done. Best, best here too. Matt, <clears throat> ready when you are. 30 seconds. <laughs> Gosh, this is... Does your belly hurt? You're, you're not going to throw up? You're, you're no, I'm actually like, my fight or flight <laughs> is kicking in. And now I kind of want to like, I don't know. I kind of want to... Is there, you have a punching bag? <laughs> Just kidding. Have you ever felt like a punching bag before? Because you're about to. Have you ever felt like a plastic bag? <laughs> Katy Perry. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I got you, right. I know how I'm starting this, and it's so hard not to laugh off. Like, <laughs> goddamn. Pulp fiction is loved by literally everyone, supremacists included. Um, everyone <laughs> loves this fucking movie. Um, it's if you think of Quentin Tarantino, it is the film you think of. All that the characters are extremely cut. memorable. Vincent Vega, Jules, like just forever. It's also our introduction to Feet, which is a very <laughs> important Quentin Tarantino statement. It is done. <laughs> It's <laughs> just gonna go into the street. Dog. Jay, you've got 15 <laughs> seconds. The timer starts when you start speaking. You can go ahead and start now. I concede. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, congratulations! You're the real. You are the real dumb winner. Holler debate champion. You are the Joe. real dumb holler debate champion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Also, let that be a lesson to all, all the people that maybe sometimes tune into Real Dumb or, or you do now go Ooh. tune into Real Dumb. Uh, it's that a fucking, felt... it's a fire pit, dude. It's, it's interesting. Man, man, can we, can we do a, can we do it real quick? Because, you know, we, we, we both just got out the ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might want to, you know, can you go to the champion and ask him how he felt? You know what I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Uh, oh man, Matt, that was a wonderful fucking fight, dude. It was so good. You obviously had the best, uh, 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 you know, uh, approach. You had the best uh, uh, choice uh, in your uh, decision. Uh, you know, like, how? When did you know that you got JD? Like, so good. But when did you know that you just got him? I I didn't. I I, <laughs> I honestly thought that you had a really good opening. And if you would have stuck with it, yeah, I, agree. I think if yeah. you would have gone the cinematography and the acting and the, yeah. the dialogue and uh, you start talking about the accents, you were on the right track. And something I that just I ran out of time. Well, sometimes, sometimes words take. Something time that to I've say. learned by doing so many JD is 
is when you doubt yourself, you gotta just fucking squash that because you gotta realize so he's to doubting himself also about things. You're well, a, yeah, your you opponent. Are. Is. Yeah, you're so right. you just have to just keep yeah. chugging forward, and I think everyone's I, reaction. I'm gonna be honest. To be honest, Matt, that is the quintessential fucking Tarantino. I agree with Matt. I, I, I would have answered it. Wasn't that the favorite. one that That's... changed? Didn't it change filmmaking itself, like forever? Oh yeah. From for sure. when that movie came out, Fuck. I would say Tarantino is still doing that though. Like trying to change filmmaking. Yeah, like everything. dude, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it's insane. Like I actually po- haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah, we're gonna talk about that later. Lord Funny you bring it up because. I, I saw it for the second time recently, and every time, and so I've only seen it twice, but I watched it the second time. I knew I liked it the first time, but the second time I watched it, I was like, wow, that was like better than the last time I saw it. I feel like I keep watching that, sub- like subsequently, I might consider that one to be even better than Pulp Fiction. But really? that's just also it's I'm, great I'm it. my own brain and human and soul. I, just, I, with I think something t- something box. Tarantino knocks out of the park yes. over and over and over in all these movies is I think he's just the best at dialogue. fucking dialogue yeah. the characters and, and in a movie I mean, like just like, like the <laughs> shit they talk about. <laughs> like that's a really good it's point, great. Corey. Great. Like a Seinfeld of a movie, yeah. but that was what also made Seinfeld be the number one I literal best. Sitcom of all it's time is rated that way. Uh, people see. used to say Cheers was until Seinfeld came out. You yeah, know, see, like I get it. I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I always almost say Mexico. Um, <laughs> that's that's one, that's one time in Mexico. Mexico. Man, not, oh, not, God, not too bad of a movie. Yeah. Uh, Quentin Tarantino helped produce that movie too. Yeah, yeah. Robert Rodriguez. So they're, they're best were, friends. Yeah, yeah, they're butt buddies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, they, they I like can to, say whatever the fuck they like to eat each other's Nobody will be go. offended because JD's going to say worse shit like the hard yeah. R, which I actually. Ow, yeah, yeah, what was the over <laughs> under on if it was the game? Welcome to it. Who lost that? I like, I like, I like the whole side. I smoked a oh cigarette with Matt and I'm like, I haven't even said the hard R yet. He's oh, like, you man, can't see you say that. I come back and say that to JD. It's like. Oh, See that, that phrase, and now it makes me sound like I'm saying a different word than what I actually said. I just want to let you all know. <laughs> it was retard. Did the other one. There you go. There he goes. Yeah, you got it. Okay. You got you said it a few times. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah, let's listen. Let's open some snaps. Yeah, let's do it. Let's move on. I say, I say that we uh, smash out all the rest of the Holler Nation responses to our stuff. I want to say thank you again for letting me participate. And How fun was that? Real dumb debate. How fun was that? And I'm going to be a little bit more prepared for the next one. I'm <laughs> serious. Uh, season opener. I, I uh, if one. you're, d- if y'all are down for that, we, we will. Uh, I like to watch. You like, <laughs> that make you like, like to watch? Ugh. That's why we have to do it. Well, that's <laughs> why we have to do it. Because if you puke, we're going to have a bucket ready. <laughs> it made me want to throw You're going to have a bucket I, ready, girl. I am not versed enough on movies now. Disney, if you do like a Disney But that, I don't think, is the point. The, the whole point is that you're versed on movies and versed I know, but like, I'm not versed on any movie. Kind of like what I said about JD. When you doubt yourself, Gracie, you just keep moving forward. They invited me actually to, to my literal worst genre, <laughs> and I participated and tried to argue shit I didn't even know. And you know what I did? Rather than sit there in front of everybody and go, I actually don't know. Uh, the history of Michael Myers. I yeah. fucking just made shit oh, up. I just so talked out of my ass. And afterwards, Matt said, "You know what, Brian? You did a really good job." <laughs> not knowing what the fuck you were talking well, about. Well, that's, that's the that was point. fucking a blast, y'all. And congratulations again, Matt. You are the real dumb holler champion. <laughs> that's literally what it's your. That's your the title. Is it? The real <laughs> dumb holler champion. <laughs> what you've always wanted to be. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, I'm just real dumb, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change that to my email. Let us let us now move on to the next thing. Right. Listen to all of our past okay. episodes at officialholler.com. Okay, again, my question was, who is the biggest asshole in cinema history? And I'm going to start with my Shay. She was in the audience. She's disappeared somewhere. And you can snap her at Shay underscore Keith 14. So just like it sounds. Ta-da. Kick it. Okay, so some of you know that I humbled myself because she was an asshole for no reason. She was just an asshole. Just an asshole. The Lord's number. Just no Yet reason. again. She's winning. I'm just surprised. Um, you know what, though? That is like a wonderful answer. I guess, yeah. She I mean, is the worst. 
it wasn't is, even on my radar, but I guess. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you had two more of those, of people saying that same thing. Um, you know. We'll just go ahead and say Holler Nation has spoke. But, yeah. yeah. Our good pal Nikki snapped me. She used a Snapchat. Um, a text, my bad. She said, biggest asshole I can think of off the top of my head is Kathy Bates in Misery. Crazy bitch breaking ankles and shit, yeah. It's a good answer. It's a great answer. It's a great answer. I like it. Asshole, yes. Insane person, yes, <laughs> too. No. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, that's interesting. I don't like having my legs broke. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't think anyone does. Our well, good friend Rachel J. already told you how to snap her. I don't think he has a sound. It's all right. Okay. Uh, we're going to get it. Well, here she is. We're going to dedicate a whole book. <laughs> what is this? Ask questions that Rachel can relate to Harry Potter? Just kidding. <laughs> I do that with everything. She's the second one. Um, Dolores Umbridge is the worst. She's the absolute fucking worst. Who the fuck is Dolores <laughs> Umbridge? <Like, laughs> who is this person? <laughs> like, I, 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 I hope she died at the end. Oh, yeah. I do too. Yeah, me too. Well, she did. She did. It was implied that she was uh, basically kidnapped and raped by all of those uh, minotaurs. Mm-hmm. By Harvey Weinstein. Oh man, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> uh, we all yeah. keep going through the whole umbrage thing too, forgetting that Corey has no goddamn clue who this fucking pink bitch is. You know, like I don't. I've watched all the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Harry Potter, Harry, 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 Harry Potter movies. Well, you're uh, right I've, I've, I've never paid. That's attention a different part of the last movie. If you know what I'm saying, baby. Yeah, I'm so, so deep dark. Just saying. <laughs>
saw its mark snapped, and it was a chat, and it said, Henry Evans, played by McCullough Culkin in the movie The Good Son, he was a giant asshole. Oh, he was. He killed uh, mm-hmm. fucking Elijah Wood, or tried to. Oh, kill him. Man. I, thought, I watched that movie once when I was very young, and I thought I had a fever dream. I it thought was, that it, it was, was horrifying. It was a it was just weird, like, okay. very psychologically like I shouldn't have watched it as yeah. young as I no, was. No, nobody should have. <laughs> at, at the <laughs> age that nobody should have. We got Culkin. <laughs> like Home Alone came it's out. Not good. Oh, oh shit. Anyway, so my friend Chanel snapped, and I'm not a toy sniper. Sorry. She said the guy. I would have to say the guy that plays Christian Bale. I heard he gave him the system PTSD. I don't know what that. The guy that plays Christian Bale? Oh my god, we just went double deeper. Oh god. It turns out Christian Bale Christian is Bale a different Bale. actor. I don't know that. Maybe even Christian, Christian Bale, Bale is. is. He methoded um, so much he, he became so himself. Much. My... It's somebody else playing. Turns out it's Tom Cruise playing Christian Bale. Oh, Tom playing the guy from Terminator <laughs> Salvation. Christian Bale stares at himself across the room, wondering which will move okay, first. Hey, my good friend David from Georgia snapping a snap at Cobalt in F, spelled like it sounds. He says, All right, all right, Georgia. Who's the biggest asshole in cinema history? Come on now. Oh, man. There's a lot of them out there, bro. Let's see. Yeah, so that fixes everything. <laughs> 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 Fuck, that was it. Got a lot of damn snacks. Damn. Whew. That, that was fucking legit. You, you handled that with grace, should I say? Uh, um, you know, no. that's why my mama named me that. You know what? Let's talk about uh, what's the last what's the last decade going to be remembered for? Let's blow through these real quick. This first one comes from Pluto. You can snap her at Amazar. Pluto says, I have nothing good to say about the past. Whoa, drugs. It'll be remembered for drugs. <laughs> oh, answer. You know, it was probably an awakening for a lot of people. Next answer <laughs> comes from well. Brittany. You can snap her at Dumb Broad. And it's Broad with a zero. And Brittany says, the 2010s will be known for the evolution of media. Streaming, video media, Netflix, social media, Whoa, Facebook, just, Instagram, and in the influencers it all created. Yeah, she just, like, that was a great answer. Very mm-hmm. solid answer. Um, this next snap is going to come from the guy we told you about earlier. This is Audio, the artist. We're going to try to get him on the show sometime. Well, you, can snap, you can snap Snake Pliskin, a.k.a. Audio. Here we go. Um, the historians are talking about us, or we'll be found by some other civilization I don't think it's that. I don't think it's gonna be that. It's gonna be that drastic. Yeah, it's pretty drastic. It's pretty drastic. I feel like every decade has these uh, like doomsdayers, these naysayers. They're like, "What? Well, it's the end of the fucking world." But they, we we've heard that for a hundred years. Hey, you know what um, though? If it was the end of the world, it would. Eventually, one of them's gonna be right, right? <laughs> like one day, it's just gonna happen. Make a fart noise. Uh, next next snap comes from Mike Anderson. You can snap him at Mike A one three nine. Mike says, "Hashtag Me Too." 
Um, that's a pretty, pretty yeah, fair yeah, intro. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Next snap comes from Andy, a.k.a. Jonathan. We told you how to snap him earlier. This is the artist. Me too. was Jonathan. late too, by the mm -hmm. way, and all that stuff. Right. Pretty late, Definitely wasn't the beginning. But very, very much a big... Uh, Jonathan says, big. unfortunately, Trump... Unhappy right. face. Yeah, uh, this challenge. next one comes from Nikki. Uh, again, you can snap her at Nick Lynn 322 Nikki says, definitely all of the sexual assault scandals and the hashtag Me Too and that Harvey Dickhead Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love the, how this show just uh, fucking uh, comes around. You got a buddy, right? This the show just end. comes <laughs> around. It's all fucking <laughs> I win. You okay. win. <laughs> You last got Trump, you got Weinstein, you win, dude. Last, oh, last snap. <laughs> this, this, this one comes from Rachel. You can snap her at Ray Does Hair. I refuse to let you be the only one with a different answer. It's Harry Potter. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you fair. so much. Harry that, Potter will be the most fair. You know, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. Uh, I'm going to play the last of my Snapchats. Um, all the other social media is taken care of. This is all I got left is the Snapchat stuff. Um, so this first one's gonna come from Josh. Uh, it's a different Josh though. Uh, you can snap him at make wiffle great. It's all three of those words put together as one. And this is what he has to say. Um, who do you sympathize the most with in movies? Hey JD, love the beer buddy. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've answered any questions yet since you guys changed the podcast. Mm. So this is a great question and I've really thought about it. Um, I think Bilbo Baggins, I sympathize with him, uh, the most. Aww. He's from, uh, Bilbo Baggins, not from Lord of the Rings, he was a weird guy, but <laughs> Bilbo Baggins from the Hobbit series. He just wanted to stay home with his books and drink and just have a good time, and everyone's bothering him. And it's his own fun. He just wants to. That noise that I hope everybody himself. thinks. Fuck everybody who makes me not have See? to do that. So I See, really sympathize. This is meta right here because his phone was buzzing while he was sending it and it probably made whoever's listening to the podcast think their phone was buzzing. As did I. I look I, at my phone. I did and too, that's actually. meta right there because all he wanted to do was just send us a snap and About it's just too bad. Somebody had to fucking call him. All he wanted to do was so all he wanted to do was shit, just though. not be bothered, but somebody's bothering him. That fucking meta joke. That was fucking good. <laughs> Uh, that was actually great. Uh, thank you so much, Josh. That was fucking awesome. Um, it was. Good job, Josh. I'm going to do another one of Corey's snaps. Let's see what Corey says. Like, let's see who he... Because he answered yours. I want to see... He thought... What was his answer? The asshole answer? I don't you remember. You don't even remember? We'll see what he says for good well, show. Howdy, Holler. Thanks for having me on the show again. And uh, I have to really sympathize <laughs> with John Wick. Maybe fuck my dog. So is that actually like a real person that does like fake voices? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh I'm just gonna keep all I got left is people that have answered yours and also answered mine, so this is interesting. It's like like I said, mine was my question was supposed to be the opposite of yours. You said asshole, I said sympathetic. Uh -huh. Let's see what's up. This is from V. And she says this. I sympathize with God. Zilla. Just, just, he's just being him. <laughs> him. Do you think Godzilla knows Bill DeBoer? Bill Boer? Yeah, we'll he's just being him. Oh, you fucked that one up, Grace. <laughs> I I we talk. can't fix that in I'm post. I'm doing it in a text and I'm doing it on my words. My All right, words. I'm going to do the, the only two uh, uh, texts that I have. This one comes from Susie. You can snap. Susie at poop butt. That's P E W P B U T. -T. Give me that one more time. It's I'm back. Back. It's, <laughs> yeah, your name is Susie, and what, you can snap her at poop, poop, poop butt. butt. Poop. At poop poop. Butt. You have to say it like poop. 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 poop butt. How do you spell that? Like P E W P. Hang on a second. Let me get my phone out. Then. Sorry. Susie. Okay, I'll keep going if you want, man. It's cool. Make a fart noise. <laughs> Susie says. I hate that it's your I don't have the time to send a vid, but my answer is 6,000%. And this is the answer to my question. Jenny from Forrest Gump. 
she sympathizes with Jenny from Forrest Gump, mm-hmm. who is also the biggest asshole. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, so can I just say, I did read a blog post on Tumblr once about how Jenny wasn't at fault for the things that happened with her. Oh, jeez, I'm at the freaking rage at this table. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody go look at if you if you know what I'm talking about, go look it up. And it's very interesting because that's the whole point. It sounds like people are already having a real dumb movie debate about <laughs> Jenny's character well, in Forrest Gump. Just Might sound like a nice little... <laughs> J.D., I, I don't want to cut you off, but I'm, I love to say cunt on this. You're allowed to say whatever you just did. Yeah, we're obviously, we're obviously don't give a shit about what comes I'm out of I'm not going to use alphabet. the hard R for like Forrest Gump. <laughs> well, you did earlier. But Jenny was a cunt. I have never used that, the hard R. I have fun being married to sing. <laughs> Nikki says, and she snaps again. What's up, Nikki? Uh, she says, this is kind of deep. When I was younger, I always felt unattractive and unwanted. So I always related to Cat from 10 Things I Hate About You. That's Julia Stiles' character. Uh, I always felt like unattractive and unwanted. <laughs> she was kind of a bitch, too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, I'm not done. Uh, always, she says, I always felt like a loner when it came to boys, and when they did give me attention, I always felt scripted or not genuine. So that's a that's pretty that's a solid ass answer. I agree. I cry every time I watch that movie. Still, I, I, I just that that's a good answer. That's a really good answer. And uh, f- thank you for sharing that with us, Nikki. That's that's some wild stuff. And to be honest, sympathetic. That's where she got it. That well, that would yeah. be empathetic. I would think. Like, well, yeah, she was empathizing. But, but with to be kids, honest, but no, she was all, she, well, she was also was sympath- sympath- She was doing both actually. She was <laughs> doing both, and that's wonderful. And yeah. that's why the answer is great. Julia Stiles bagged Heath Ledger, so <laughs> just just in his prime, literally his first big break movie, like yeah, he almost bagged fell down it. The and, and, so and bad. Julia right. Stiles, so really his fucking boat. She, she was, she was I would in not that be season of Dexter. That one time. Oh, yeah, really yeah, that's why she's unwanted. Um, also, <laughs> uh, oh, God, Alex Mack from Nickelodeon. Alex Mack was yeah, she can get it. I love that woman. I grew up. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing the last so fucking I'm yes. playing the last answer for know. Holler Nation and we're gonna finish the podcast up and do all that stuff. <laughs> I think we're this, done I'm pretty sure after this we are done. Uh this is uh from Ka- uh Kitty Cat as well. It's Lacandas. Uh, you can snap her Lacandas as she it's spelled L A C A N D A C E N A S A G A B A N A N A S That shit's bananas. seen a goddamn episode of it. Me I, I don't know what what I missed. I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's just how, how how it works. You can go back and stream it if you want. I guess you can go back and binge it. How many episodes have you seen of one? Yeah. Yeah. Zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. How many have yeah. you seen? Zero. All so of it? People watch you that's your one of your... Is none, two? None, zero. Damn. We were, we were has, has anyone here we were watched one tree in yet? my family? No, none of we watched Dawson's Creek in my family. Now, What's the family? difference? <laughs> <laughs> well, That's what I don't get. I really don't understand. One, one was about a tree. And one was about a creek. Oh, one. <laughs> Sounds like there, was that, there was a hill. Oh, yeah. One of them is the tree by the creek. <laughs> no. Let's just cons- let's creek consult one. Billboard for the right answer. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, that was Gracie probably one of the. Fu- I don't know why you guys aren't cracking up the way I just did. That's one of the funniest fucking things. That you've ever said on this podcast. One was about a tree and one was about a tree. That's fucking oh, hilarious. I want to say what Ellen means to me. Oh. Oh. Fucking oh. ruin oh. everything. Oh, shit. What was that other one like? Oh, jeez. People this used to watch all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. 
the podcast. <laughs> No, the Is little Rory and her mom. That, yeah, there you go. That one also sucked. Up. Never, never watched it. Either. You haven't either? I have, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for checking us out on the internet. We appreciate the fact that you stay up late with us on Friday nights and hang out with us so much. Um, we want to give a huge special thanks to Matt and Corey from Real Dumb Debates. It's not just movies, even though this was what this show is all about today. You guys actually have gamified the concept of it. You've, t- you've taken the like classic-ass team debate concept and gamified it and turned it into this really cool tournament-esque thing. You probably got people rooting for you and shit. I, I would not be surprised if in a couple of years as you continue to do this you're going to end up making like logos and like jerseys for your own like cause. Uh, it's so awesome. Everybody check out Real Dumb Debates. They're on YouTube. They're on Facebook. It's spelled R-E-E-L-D-U-M-B. Matt, Corey... You want to leave us with anything? You want to yeah, show thanks for having us on. This was great. Um, I agree too. Cool. I'm sorry uh, for being like a cunt. No, you're. I, I'm allowed <laughs> to say that on this channel. So. You can say whatever the so. fuck you want. Whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, just uh, we're on YouTube, as he said, real dumb, uh, R E E L space D U M B. Go ahead. Um, we're. Hoping to get season two of debates rolling out in the next couple months. Um, we're gonna do more reviews. We're trying to. We're trying to as season two comes out, yeah. add more content. Well, it's, and it's um, super cool that you have a whole season for people to get behind, so people can actually go back and listen from the top to the end and see yeah. how it all worked out and how. Yeah. And, and also, I guarantee you, every one of those episodes with the ways. Y'all heard a little bit of a, a kind of debate on this one, on this episode tonight, and with the way that that kind of worked out, I, I you know, I think that that's yeah, you get hooked. See, you got you got your toes, you, you dipped your you toes dipped in the water, them. and I've man, done, it's fun. I've done did a good it's fun, yeah. right? So Why like you guys, like the I think the answer the here is you guys keep <laughs> this thing going. You've got you've got people rooting for you, and you've got people watching that you don't even realize. Let alone the fact that it just brings a whole group of, of people with sh- shared interests, common interests together, sure. and it streams it to people with the shared interest. So, yeah. so keep that thing going. You guys are doing a great thing. Uh, I was always looking forward to this show. It was really good to have you on here. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, couldn't have been any fucking better. Thank you so much. Uh, go to Fisher Sorry. Holler. We, we go also ahead. have realdumb.com. That's right. Um, I was literally about to talk about um, websites. Fuck, let's do uh, it. Yeah, you go first, and then we'll so, end up. It is our podcast. Uh, we have the the most recent content first. Um, you can scroll to the end and watch all the way through. Dude, you can just top. see what we're all about from the top. Um, oh, yeah. And then uh, you asked earlier, Brian, how to get on the show if you wanted. Never got to answer that. Sorry about that. It's all good. Um, just message me on Facebook. It's Matthew Lasley, L-A-S-L-E-Y, or Matt Lasley. I don't know what the hell I am on there anymore. <laughs> Um, well, you have a real um, dumb Facebook. Uh, there's the uh, real dumb Facebook. You have a real dumb Facebook. God, <laughs> it's so weird to say it that way. No, real dumb. But no, no, real dumb, dumb actually has time. a <laughs> real dumb has a <laughs> Facebook page, right? So they can message that page too. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah you can message you can that. Listen. Somebody will get back to you. Either me, Chris, or Rainer. Cool. We're all the admins. Awesome. Oh, um, Rainer. Sweet. And uh, I'm not one. Yeah, I, just. Uh, we're Obviously. looking for new blood for season two, and cool. um, we're looking for people to, uh, you know, do some movie reviews with us, too. Cool. So, That's absolutely wonderful. Thank um, you all for having us on. Realdumb.com. It's, it's spelled absolutely. like a movie, real people. Uh, you can also go to officialholler.com. No, I, I mean, I can, but I don't know where that is. We've been cool. slamming that website out, rocking uh, stuff. <laughs> you can check us out on Facebook at Official Holler Pod. Instagram at official underscore holler. Twitter at official underscore holler. You can call us, actually, and leave us a voicemail, which we're going to bring that back in the next episode. We've been, we we did a break on the voicemail. We have thing. a holler hotline. But we do have a holler hotline. You can call us at 681-378-2099. That is 
378-2099. Again, the website is officialholler.com, all one word. Uh, go there. We've been revamping it. We're actually going to be like a... It's, it's launched, but we're going to do this big old official launch. It's going to be dope. It's coming up soon. Just keep your eyes on it. Check out the Facebook page. Our memes are dope as hell. Uh, check out Real Dumb. They're everywhere on the internet, too. It's great. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Uh, it Honestly. Was a, it was an absolute blast. Brian, you got anything else to say? No, Brian, I think you, you, I think you said it all. That was great. Thanks. This Holler Hotline, <laughs> dude, the Holler Hotline, the Holler Hotline that you shouted out, guys, if you if you got that phone number, just call anytime you want yeah, you can and say anything you we'll want. We'll have a, there'll if be a greeting on there. voicemail, I might play on the show. There'll be so a greeting on say there. Say whatever you want. If the greeting might ask you a question, and you can give us your answer there. The greeting might also just be That's us cool. saying, hey, what's up? Fucking say some shit. And you'll just <laughs> say, that little, that so, little, you know, whatever yeah, you want to do, we'll, we'll make it happen. Uh, we're here for you. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us on Facebook Live. Thank you so much for watching us on YouTube. Thank you so much for listening to us on iTunes or Stitcher or uh, Spotify or anything else that this shit comes out on. Um, Officialholler.com. Bye. 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 Done. <laughs> Done. That was great. It's over. It's over. I it's always, over, ladies and gentlemen. I always think of uh, Diego and <laughs> Pete Peace out, everybody. Give it a peace. Let's give it a little peace. Bye. 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 B